right. Uh, thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you. So this one at the America time, as a CM, the talk come, you know, so I appreciate you all. So let's see um, how long we can talk for, you know, between the next one or two hours. But on this time, um, okay, somebody is, is on the backstage. Uh, let me add you in. I'll post out a link again. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, please help us to share and like. Thank you very much. Um, now, 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 to Niger, now I go hand over this uh, particular broadcast. So, uh, my people, I'll post out a link for new person, uh, the new people to come in. You know, thank you. If you know, say you know, be from you, you know, you know, the America go, go sleep. Oh, if you know, say you know, be America, you know, you know, the America go sleep. So, I'll post out the ring soon. So, uh, to Naja, back to you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, um, yeah, thanks to everyone on the panel. Um, I just wanted to um, talk a little bit about, you know, the way these our leaders are busy, you know, jackpotting and traveling everywhere. And But Peter B is, is hanging around and doing his uh, best to uh, win this case. So um, this um, thing that they are doing, we need to find a way to stop it. And um, part of the, the struggle we will have to go through in terms of getting all these things done, um, is going through organizations on the ground in Nigeria too, you know, from links that we'll have inside the, you know, people that are passing the laws and um, people like uh, the NLC. NLC, I really consider them very powerful in Nigeria. They are, they are a powerful organization and I really wish we can get one of their people to come over on the channel to talk to us because now they are also talking about postponing the uh, subsidy removal. Uh, they are suspending it already. Um, you know, when they suspend this in Nigeria, <laughs> God knows what is going to happen again. Um, they, they, there are so many things they are postponing. The census, they are not doing it anymore. Um, this is how they... they, they, they please, Tunaja, please, hold on, hold on. Yeah. We have our mommy in the building. Mama is in the <laughs> building. <laughs> good evening, my mommy. How are you doing? Now, good evening, and thank you for everything you guys are doing. May the good Lord continue to bless all of you, keep all of you, Amen. and sustain every one of us until we get our new Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank Hi, you. Now, to Nigeria, they hand over this screen. Oh, uh, okay. America people, now we invite to, if you know, say, they you <laughs> go sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, then. Go ahead, to Nigeria. Thank you. Yeah, so um, so the idea is that um, to, we have to prepare for whoever is in uh, who is going to be in office to deal with all this problem. I, I believe Nigeria is facing a potentially um, great time in the next, you know, four years if we get it right within the next couple of months, uh, because um, you know the Dangote River is coming on stream, and if the um, this in the pipeline that they are building goes as hell as well as well as we are expecting it to go because some of them have already made it to the north a lot of power generation companies will be able to generate power in nigeria now to be supplying in nigerian people uh, electricity so electricity output is likely to increase in the coming years in nigeria if we don't screw it up um and all these things we are watching it happen right before our eyes and we let them screw everything up and then they will keep us like for the next 10 years and there is also the prospect of um uh, refineries the nigerian refineries because nmpc has been made a, PL, a kind of private company now so um, if they can fix those refineries you know because it's running now like a company not like a national institution anymore then it's going to compete with uh, Dangote and the subsidy removal that will be done will not have that much of an impact. And can you imagine for Nigerian refinery, four of them start being functional and uh, Dangote refinery come on stream, pipeline through the country. You know, you don't need to do it. As, a, as, as any leader, you don't even need to do too much. That would, you would, Nigerians will feel the change because the amount of money we waste on subsidy is ridiculous. $10 billion. We can use it to stop. You know what? Tinubu can buy all his, his, the hospital in France, buy his doctors and bring them to Nigeria. 
you know, with one billion, <laughs> he could bring all his dollars through. He doesn't have to travel anymore. Our president doesn't have to travel anymore. So all these things, I, the, the discussion should be about how we are going to uh, strategize to deal with some of all these things. And obviously, Peter B is going to be in the middle of it. One way or the other, he's going to be in the middle of all these things. And um, this is one of the reasons why they are targeting him. You see how they went after um, Imran Khan yesterday in, in Pakistan. People that want to fix things, they go after them. They will try to uh, um, go after them. And I hope the Nigerian military they are, and the establishment, they are watching it. They are all these people that are thinking that they are going to go and carry people be any how they like and they think they are going to get away with it it's not going to happen no it's not going to happen the way they are expecting and uh, some of all some of all these people that are supporting uh, tinubu that think that you know the obedience are stupid they they say things they don't understand how mature the obedient uh, groups have behaved you know they've really acted very it's really it's crazy i'm not even sure any political parties um candidate has behaved this well before you know you don't see them attacking people you don't physically i mean you don't see them thinking oh let's go and riot on the street because their candidate didn't win you don't see any of those things they are going through the political process having debates like this online constantly on youtube on twitter everywhere they are doing everything they are supposed to be doing that for me i consider that one of the most mature movements i've seen including in America, in, in the UK, one of the most mature movements are the obedience movement I've seen. That is crazy to be able to say. So I think that P2B doesn't have much to apologize for. He really doesn't, but I understand why he's doing it. You see what I mean? So um, CM, if you have anything to add, uh, you can go ahead. Well, well, on the on the this thing on the refinery issue, I remember what Pat Tommy proposed one time. I don't know whether it's still relevant now; it's still feasible. He said, "I think that should be 2018 or 2017, or maybe even be or be or before then." He said, "This is our refinery. Why not put it on sale for as little as, even if it's one cobble, but with a condition." Whoever buys it, 60% of the workforce must be Nigerians. He said that way, because it will be domestic supply. We sell the petrol here. The workforce, it is 60 or 65. He said that is the thing. We are selling it, almost giving it to you free. But we want you to turn it around 60%. Because the moment you employ up to 60, 70% Nigerians, they pay tax. That tax goes back to government. You generate. That's the way he's he, 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 listening to Pat Tom even before now. So that's what he said. And I, I'm trying to say whether it's still feasible now. But that, but that was his proposal because of that refinery. On the issue of refinery, when P2B comes, you see, I believe in turning at disadvantage to advantage. Call those uh, Niger Delta guys. We case disturbing. Say they are illegal. They are doing this. Yes. They are illegal because no law covers them. Bring them into the law and then give them blueprint so that if it's environmental degradation, you tell them, we are not going to arrest you. Just refine your system. Instead of you being 100 of you doing it, why not bring yourself only five? You form a group, only five doing it. You do it well. Because the technology they are using could be indigenous, could be anything. After all, those illegal ones they are using, they fuel, they refine, they sell it, and people are using it in their cars. So the product, the outcome, is still acceptable. The only thing is, you tell them, say, look at why we now want to, because not everything you criminalize, you don't criminalize everything. People are carrying laptops, say they are doing Yahoo, Yahoo. Okay, come. You can be in uh, Aba or Lagos in one on that uh, one uh, make face me and face you building and be transferring money all over portugal come the software you are using we want you now to do it in a way that any money leaving an npc we will see it can you can you can you do it they say yes that is you are you are trying to tap their brain use it positively in that case the chap will now know oh they really know something somebody told me that india was yahoo yahoo letter and this issue of yahoo yahoo they were doing but later, they tell the president. Engineer Ken. In, either their president now sort of uh, called them and channeled them, tell them this is what to do. 
So I believe that our strength as a country lies in the talent we have, not really natural resources, but the talent. Just tell mm. them, you do what in Gige, use what in Gige formula. Gige became governor of Anambra State. He went straight mm. to Opie Weka, invited the head of Agbo and the team, said, look, this is your car. This is this. I don't want to hear any takame again in Anambra. The man, that is the end. That was how he said, go and tell your boys, anytime I hear anything again, disturbing people don't move. That was how in Gige. So there's a way you can turn at disadvantage because Nigerians, when the economy is poor, the people are poor, you are like the crime will be high. Poverty breeds crime. Go anywhere. Even if in any any country you go to where they call ghetto, you see crime. There is poverty there. So Nigeria, you, there's no way you fight Nigerian crime with guns and bullets. All you need to do is you to target poverty to eradicate it. Bring the people into tell them you doesn't you don't you not everything you criminalize just bring just bring them in they will be surprised that they thought that they had been forgotten you don't tell them look this is what we want you people to do put that your energy in this way then eventually things mm. will uh, I mean things things I, will start I, 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 around. I, 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 so, one thing i notice is that um sometimes you can even have poverty but as long as people have hope things are improving the crime rate reduces just by that alone because yeah. now they will have hope, they want to work and do the right thing. Because if you look at like nations like India, they, there is a lot of poverty there. But because there is hope that things are heading in the right direction, they are becoming stronger and stronger every single day. You see that the people toe the line even more. So our leaders need to give our people hope. They need to give mm -hmm. show show signs that things are moving in the right direction. The behavior will change. That that young man that or lady that wants to think about leaving to um, UK or U uh, Canada or whatever might reconsider and think okay maybe it's not such a good idea for me to go and start wiping um, elderly people's backsides okay, instead yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah, remaining here teaching and being a this in a, a, this in a lecturer stuff like that you see what I mean so we need we need hope and Nigeria has a lot of potential for hope this year this, this the, for me, the landmine is this um, trial that is going on right now. This is uh, a tribunal stuff. And we, I, I, for me, it reminds me almost of 1993. 1993 was a very, very important year for hope in Nigerians. Nigerians all over the country voted for one candidate. Mm -hmm. And boom, yeah. this people just imploded the country. Mm -hmm. And this is why I really commend the obedient movement for restraining themselves, they didn't allow anything to tempt them into creating a situation whereby the country is uh, imploding or any serious tension in the air like that. They, they, I have this. This was Peter Obi's doing, and I, anybody I can't even believe a lie Mohammed goes about talking about. You know, Peter Obi is a treason and all that nonsense. But, but, but if but, but, Peter Obi wasn't in this campaign. God. Then look, at the, look at the answer he gave him. He said, I mean, no, Nisha, my minister is going to tell them wasting money. Why not use it and build six? <laughs> yeah, yeah, one, he was one, like, what did yeah. so he said, He said, I'm here. You tell EFCC to come and they arrest me. I'm here in Onesha. Why go into America to tell them of treason? When, when I'm here, come and take me at Onesha. The money you wasted in entering uh, maybe first class play because that, they can't take economy now. He said, you should have used to stay in your village. There may be a, a classroom of six, a, a block of six classrooms. It will construct. You see, this is the type of something I, we, are, we, we are talking about. The thing is, crime in Nigeria, I believe, if you start addressing poverty, crime will die. Crime, will, it will drastically be reducing. And do not. Sometimes there are crimes that you can say, for instance, this issue of uh, illegal refinery. I don't see why we can't. It said, now, now we get the crude oil. Now we refine them. Now we they use them. If George Bush could say that he won't, he won't sign. He will never sign a, any agreement that we put the Americans out of job. As long as all this climate change they talk, when we look at it and we feel that it's affecting our job because we are low. Nobody, the world won't come to our aid. We have to help ourselves mm -hmm. practically. So this refinery issue. Should have been from these illegal ones. Bring them in, they, 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 they do and then they encourage they, them. They, they don't plan on using our use. I've, I've been to uh, a competition Mr. where, uh, where there Niger. was. Um, uh, Mama Echu wants to say something. Sorry, go ahead. No. What do you want to Can say? Can I ask a question? Do we yeah, really think? Do we really think that these people 
think that there is in Nigeria. Because if you go to other countries, even there is corruption, but there is a limit to what you can do than you stand and totally destroy your own land. This is a massive destruction. It's not war, but it's massively have been destroyed. The whole pillars that hold the country, our military is gone. Yeah. They are no longer proud. No, Nothing in them. They are giving their best, but the country has been bastardized. They can't even eat three square meals a day. The military, the so-called military people that are fighting this war, they can't eat three square meals a day. The Nigeria. question I now ask again, are these people Nigerians? Where they, are. They, 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 they are physically Nigerians, but uh, they are politically foreigners. Because clearly, if you look at their behavior, they are beholden to foreign um, this thing, um, people, clients that are directing them on what to do. You, you just look at the way, they, the rate at which, I don't know the last time uh, Sunak traveled even. The, the rate at which these people travel overseas. It's so alarming. And I, I don't know how we somehow allow this culture to build and we didn't question it enough. The, and everybody's at it because they are doing it. Everybody else is at it. They think it's a thing to do. But they don't even understand that at the leadership level, when you are doing that kind of stuff, it's really questionable that your leaders are in foreign lands that are dis disproportionately more powerful than your country. It means that they can easily be compromised and guess what? You are surprised with what you are saying. And I agree with you that it looks like a war zone because how can a country like Nigeria have life expectancy of 53? That is, it's like my, at some, some, so if you look at some statistics, it actually shows 52. That is crazy. There are countries that are at war that don't have that kind of life expectancy. So these leaders have governed so badly that, and they, they really needed to do that because Nigerians are one of the most dynamic people. They really needed to make sure we don't even do as well as being a republic in terms of life expectancy. Because Nigerians, if you give them a chance, this country is going to transform Africa. But these leaders are just sitting on our heads. I tell you, sometimes when I go out, I feel like I don't even want to say good evening to any one of them. Even the innocent ones too. I'm like, where were you? That Because I'm so furious with what these people have left for us to inherit and this problem that we have to figure out a way to solve. Sorry, uh, Mama Hecho, go ahead. I know I've, I saw you. I saw your hand. Sorry about that. You know, <laughs> I'm glad we've come to this level of understanding okay. that my children are not criminal. I'm glad we've got to this level where we know that even their criminal behavior, we can turn it around for good. So I'm happy that we are having this discussion. Because I've ever seen my children from the eyes, from this perspective, that if given the opportunity we have here, it will sell. So I'm so happy we are having this conversation. And I'm grateful to God, whether they like it or not, the mandate will come to us and we'll start building the Nigeria of our dreams. When we give them the value those children deserve, those younger generation deserve, and we give them the good leadership they will emulate Dropping calamity will not be a talk of war. And if we can help to rechannel their knowledge, it takes a smart person, a very smart person, to sit in one much room, there in Lagos, there in Delta State, there in Edo State, to be able to convince somebody in the Western world, and they will release the money. And it's not once. Mother Esho, why, why are those things? Uh, the example in the give now. No, no, that example get many. Okay. You know, okay. you know, I beg, I beg, I did not care. Let her finish, I beg. No, 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 I say yes. No, it's a I beg. Let her finish. 
Go ahead, Mama Isu. You, if you like, hate those children. In as much as I don't support the activities, but I want to tell you that that brain is not a waste brain. It's a brain that we can use and provide a platform for them to be building this form that you use. They are capable. If only they are given your chance and the opportunity. They are capable of building this laptop that I'm using to talk to you. But because we did, we we neglect them, we we look at them as downtrodden. We took the value of human being from them, and they want to revenge, and they want to leech the society. So when we have the right government, we'll be able to sit at the table with them and say, "Look, our insecurity can be oh, can we can address our insecurity in six months." Because the people perpetuating it are this group of people. Give their value back to them. Bring them in and say, look, what you have, let's develop it to, 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 in the technology world. You will see how the insecurity we are talking about will just go overnight. They will be able to differentiate those who are really criminal minded from those who are into criminality to survive. I know what I see every day here. Yeah. Good point. Good point. And what I see every day on this my phone. Some of the young men they attracted to me because they want relationship. Good or fine, come. I will use that that you are attracted to to make you to be who God wants you to be. Because I understand their mind. My mother has prepared me for this. When she was saying, I didn't understand. She said, my daughter, before you marry, many men go change. You don't ever insult them, but respect them. So when they come to me with this mindset, me, I know that is what they are coming for. But I've made up my mind. How do you now use what they are looking for to rechannel them into what God destined them for? Uh, so, sorry, a, 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 you wanted to ask a question? to just add to what she's saying the problem we have in nigeria eh, majority of these graduates were not meant to go to university exactly that is our problem majority of those doing these tech things were not meant to go to university because they the government not to technical mind. They are supposed to go to technical schools if you go to i work i i'm I, I work as an architect in nigeria if you come to your site in Nigeria, you're building a house, you will find Togolese, Senegalese doing the jobs. An average Nigerian youth can't carry block. Mm -hmm. I came to the UK last year, yeah. Eh? The way they the way they read Bricklay a year is like someone that has a PhD. It is because a proper electrician, they all have skills because they have that skill, they value their work. Yes, because yes. their job is dignified. Labor yes. is dignified in the Western world. But in our own upbringing, we, 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 we bring down this category of people. So part of the things we want to propose is that let every labor be dignified. You don't look down somebody because the person is doing uh, home care. I have two people that, because of my disability, I have two people that help me here. Home care, a man and a, a lady, but their job is dignified. But do we do that at home? We will call the house gay or murder and we humiliate them. So these are some of the things we need to set back home to whoever that, anyway, not to whoever. When President Obiko, we go sit down. We go sit and down so that all these channels will become job dignified. It's not everybody that's supposed to go to university. A lot needs to go to technical school because that is where their brain is channeled for. Mm. And everybody needs to be respected. Whether you get bachelor degree or you get a, a, a technical school, vocational DC. Let us respect all this job. Once we bring that dignity into labor, we will accept. 
see, I, I can, if everything for like 10 years, Nigeria will compete with the global world. I am dealing with this younger generation, what they have up here. If only we can give them the platform. If only we can create that environment. Look at the NNPC we are talking about here. Those people they call the illegal miner or refinery. Let us give them, let us bring them in and give them a lot to protect their trade. And we will we will change up the story. My Niger data boy that I carry Kelepe create security outlet for them. Computerize it and digitalize it. They will do the job that these police people are doing so that we can let the police do their real police work. And these people will begin to do this bodyguard that uh, all this uh, way to do women, husband, and unwanted. We can do this and the policemen will focus on police job. To Nigeria, now waiting another they call you since make you call me, may we, may we put together when you know the answer me. No, see, I, I they answer you now. Uh, we they here now. I see, don't worry. We will talk about that one. With your plan, you just real. You are very, you are quite brilliant. You know, people underestimate you sometimes. The way and see, it's, the what you just described just now is quite a uh, a clear strategy that one could use uh, to deal with some of our problems, some of our serious problems. The, the what we have in Nigeria is that people mean say a lot of things like they mean well. But when they get into office, then they switch because now everybody's on their case. You are there to make money for our family. You are there to make money for our people. You have to get a national cake. All that pressure. These are the kind of things we really need to start dealing with from now so that the listeners and us here that are present will start understanding what we are up against. The, 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 because you have, to be, you have to have a level of commitment that goes beyond money, that mm -hmm. goes beyond today. That is for the future and the very and saving the past of our people, because this is a a, a a do or die situation here that we are in, and we, our country has been run to the ground. As our people have been run to the ground, the entire continent, uh, sub-Saharan Africa, is being run to the ground because of this, and we we have a duty to try to change the direction of these things because it will be one of the most catastrophic failure of humanity in humanity. When a people numbering a billion strong cannot be able to figure out their way out of a problem. Which... But the truth is this the other Africa countries are looking on to rough Nigeria because they know when we get it right, not, not, not they will really, automatically not, fall in place. Not really. what let, let me show you, let me just reveal some numbers, just in case we are having discussions for other times, because this information that I found, I was I, my mouth was open. Because you know when the ministers were saying that we have three million Nigerians in Sudan, I was like, ah, how did we manage to have three million Nigerians in Sudan again? And uh, you know we, we talk about having a lot of Nigerians in the uh, Niger Republic, but it's not that we have 135, 130 uh, Nigerian uh, thousand Nigerians in Niger, but in Benin six million. I was like, how? It's like we we own Benin Republic then. <laughs> we basically own Benin Republic. Six million Nigerians in Benin Republic, and in in Cameroon, four million. And before we Nigeria, especially us in the South, you hear some people start saying, "Oh, Nigerians are in Benin." Uh, many of the Benin Republic and uh, Niger Republic who are coming to Nigeria from the north and all the rest. Ask yourself, why? Are, how, who, who are these Nigerians that are in the neighboring countries? They are mostly Southerners that are in uh, Benin Republic and in Cameroon. They are mostly Southern and they are not northerners that are doing these things so i just thought i should highlight that information because i've had many people talk about this conspiracy from the north but if you look at it next door is six six million is a lot but it's not very heavily populated six million nigerians we own the country so i just thought i should highlight that anyway that said i agree with you uh mama Echo, and some of the things you are you say and sure most of the stuff you say actually what am i saying some of them most of the stuff you say is actually uh, spot on, and this is why this I always say watch. your voice and has to be Niger. out there. Yes, can I interject a little bit? Sorry, of course, go ahead. This is you a, see, a, a um, free conversation. We, we, we have uh, every one of us have a good plan, a good strategy, a good stuff. I was I was opportune to to work in an NGO with uh, Mayegun. There's one Mayegun 
the other my not the Maegu that have a um, 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 a channel, but another Maegu and um, the, the the daughter to a Biola symbiote. We call it Nix. We call the organization Nix. We were about to training a leadership leadership training, try to train our youth how to grow up and know how to do things on their own, create things on their own. We want to change their mental orientation about their country. But do you know the, 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 the obstacle we met? We met an obstacle of serious corruption and serious, you know, a, a mindset of it is only the physical cash that an average Nigerian youth knows about. They don't want to hear, but all they know is money. That is in the Western side. When we went to the East, that is where we learned, we saw how wealth, the desire to participate and create wealth out of nothing. So we're having a very big problem because the percentage we had was that we had what 70 to 30. It's a big, it's a big margin that don't want to do anything but to handle physical cash. But they don't know how, where it comes from. They don't care. If they still they look up to the politician that oh they are. I think yeah, you are not It's not the like, generation that have been born it's, since it's this democratic um, when, period. When you see excuse and me, when you see, pillar, like, let me say something. You see, black man, you are hundred percent correct, correct. But the thing is this: in my work so far, it is the Sultana, the Sultana, the call South. When you talk of Delta, Edo State, Bayesa, uh, Portacot, but when you come to the West, when you go through towards Ibadan, they are seeking for opportunity. When you go towards Quara, they are seeking for opportunity. When you now go towards the north, they are seeking for opportunity like this. But the call, the call sad. Oh my God. Madam Esho. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm not here to debunk you. I'm here to support you. You know, when I say, why do you call it though? I don't say it. I was just trying to crack a joke. You see, what you just said is true. You know, I own a business in Nigeria for over 25 years. I invested a lot in it. I'm not thinking about it. You know, when I say a lot, if I start calling it, it's like maybe I'm, I'm just lying. In, 20, in 2018, you know, about six of my staff created, they stole a product and I'll do treat those products. You know, I do some haulage with Dangote, you know, just to take from Calabar down to Obajana in Kogi. You know, I have to pay about 76 million naira back to Dangote. Yeah, it has happened twice. Some of them were caught by EFCC, some of them were called by National Guard Patrol. You know, in the in, in, in the corable of the army, the GSS, the uh, 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 the civil defense, and the police, and we then seize all these bad products. When these guys go back to the creek and buy these adulterated products and use it to mix up the good products that they that they took from the seaport, either in Calabar or in Portai you know, so they will mix it all to become a lot of product like. If they load about 50,000 liter, they'll buy the same 50,000 liter of uh, bad product from these creek guys. And they will now mix it up together. It will now give them to a, 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 about 100,000 liter of uh, two products. You know, of the same product, they will now have it uh, surplus to make more money. But if the, if, the, if the Federal Patrol catch them doing all these things, they will take the product, they will seize it, and they will sell it back. They will sell it back again to the streets. There are some certain nonsense. They they answer people. Or let them don't use answer. I don't certain nonsense 
that comes from the north that has the connect with the DSS, with the with the EFCC, and with the Civil Defense Corps that buys all these seized products from them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we take it back again to exactly. uh, 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 to the north or to the street to sell. Exactly. You see, I've lost so many. I've lost a lot, a lot, a lot of millions. If it's not going to a billion, you know, mm -hmm. with these guys. So these are the very big problem we have in that our region, that formerly bended state. Now that yeah, formerly right. bended state, when you come from that river Niger bridge all the way down to Bayasa, mm -hmm. to Ekot, Wari, yes. coming down to Bini, that ended between Bini and the Yoruba land. Exactly. Our greed, our hunt, our hunt for money is it's too extraordinary. Much. Extreme, it's too extreme. Much. You you will see you will see a sixteen years old boy want to drive. You want you want to drive a jeep. You know, you want to drive said, jeep. they have sent him to to prison, and I'm tired. Like okay, sorry, sir. Like I was, yes, there is a friend. He was he has secured a business over here. He has secured the supplier back home. Mm. At least he should be loading at least three trailer. In a month, and yeah. now, the question is this: everybody will benefit. The farmer will benefit. You that are loading will benefit. All this group of people supposed to get job through this. You know what? Yeah. They now decided to be loading stone, stone mm. inside of the product. Mm. Then, uh, let me use as it is. And now, Saga, who saw this? Who this person over here has been good to? Now call this person say, ah, your people, the people now that are loading are Yoruba, your people want to load stone for you. He mm. did the video of the old thing and sent it to him. When he discovered that his own people want to load stone for him, he now canceled the whole business. The whole thing, yeah. Now, surprisingly, Shabi, you would think that this one that reported is a good person, Abi. <laughs> Less than that many moves. He do be this person. Oh, God. This is this is what they call this is what they call a very big problem. If you are on the ground, you a very big problem. Yeah, uh uh in protect court. In protect court, one of one of my one of my driver did another one again. <laughs> that, that that about fifty thousand liters. Time, diesel was diesel was going for about a thousand naira per per liter, making about fifty million naira. So it, it was it was caught. The lawyer that I took in Protai Court, that's supposed to be fighting for me to release this guy was collecting was money. <laughs> he was collecting money from from me I'm to fight to release the product <laughs> and the truck. He was using my money to go behind me. Wanted to buy the product again. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, let it go round. Now, let it go round. Let it go round. Yeah. Engineer. Yeah. Engineer. Yeah. Engineer. Yeah. Engineer. You see, you see this boy. All this discussion. While I was in Nigeria, I saw it live. Yes. I stay in the upper state. Everybody seems to have seen this live. I stay in the upper state. Not the smart thing, though. Not this much. What, what, See, what do they talk? It's so bad. It looks like a phone, but it's not phone. Though. No, the issue, the issue. The I have very big issue. <laughs> it's it's so it's everybody, big. please, please. Everybody's talking at the same time. Can okay, somebody's responded to what you said? Nigerian yes, 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 yes. Now. yes. Nigerian police. Nigerian police. I'm giving you like this is what they didn't tell me. I saw it myself. Nigerian police. There's a place called Obuangwe in Wari. What aside, mm. if you go there, eh, you will see car trailer. Eh, once product gets to that place, DPO, all the DPO, not that there's product, all the Nigerian police vehicle keep going there to collect their courts. After they collect their courts, you see a small road, you see trailers as if they're going to go and take one. Eh, <laughs> 
thing in Dokun in like when you go there, the trailers have special tanks that has been welded under it. They will load them. You can count up to 50 trailers coming to that place. The road that was start as because of that activity, they spot the road. You will see you will see DSS, you will see uh, civil defense, you will see police. In, I, yeah. can, I can tell you, I sat down one day, I counted 50 yeah, police nice. cars from morning to night. So when will it stop? When will it stop? And if you go to the river, you are going to, maybe I'm going to Escavos. I'm on the boat, going to Escavos. You will see police boats. They won't, they won't chase you. It is you with the product that will drive your boats and go and meet the police and settle. Then you now go. Wow. They have checkpoints on the river where we have army. The army is on, there. Army is not chasing on, you. You will see drive river, on the river. Checkpoint on the yes, river. Yes, I'm telling you. Yeah. 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 The river. There's checkpoints. Uh, you have soldiers. Uh, this you is have the best way. You know. They have checkpoints uh, in water. Okay. Too, so on the water. When checkpoints. You the now let her remain. No, aeroplane. Maybe they don't get checkpoints. When you carry the product from the creek, eh? They don't need to chase you. You will drive your boat, your product, and go and pay. There is no route you want to pass. They have normal routes. They have pipeline routes. When you want to thief, you will pass the pipeline. Once the water level is gone up at night, that's when they pass, and the soldiers are there waiting. So wow. all the routes they know. Yeah. That's why Compolo can say he can, he can, he can, he knows all the points. Yeah. And let me show. And let me show you guys. You know, for the past ten years in Nigeria now, for the past 10, 15 years, the reason why we have fuel. That's for kerosene and, and diesel. This, yeah, it's, it's because of this creek. Yes. That is why we've been having them a lot and they have no scarcity. You see, since, we, since when Peter will be raised that alarm, that is the Nigerian government that they're, that they're the ones stealing their own thing, selling it in offshore for higher purchase and making that money, putting it in their own in their own pocket. That was how they were going to go out and bring John Polo. You know, to do all those like a uh, 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 scenario to, to, to look like maybe they are working. They started blocking a lot, lot of creek. When you want, they started blocking a lot of creek, then we start losing products. There was shortage, there was shortage of uh, diesel, petrol in, 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 in the gas station. So automatically the price just jump up. Mm, we, you know, the, the, the problem so, of so ICE, yeah. Uh, local, right? yeah. It is our local refinery guys. They were the one making it possible for yeah. everyone to have products mm -hmm. to use. Why the Nigerian government and the elite politicians, they were busy stealing the products, taking it as a crude oil to abroad, to abroad, you know, to, to refine and taking 95% of the money into their own the different bank accounts. Mm, I, I, there is this case that, that is tied to um, the property that this. Um, please, when you finish, remember that Mama Yeshu could not finish that uh, statement. Her let point. Her finish it. Yeah. Please mm, let everybody I, I, finish their statement at least. You know. Uh, I, I, I get where, I get where you're coming. I get where you're coming. Yeah, you know because generally I tend to you know, but I will go with your this thing please, structured yeah. approach. All right. So um, yeah, Mama Yeshu, finish uh, what you were saying so that um. Uh, we can go to either CJ or um, Prince Aquach. He hasn't said anything at all. I think you've good up. I've made me lost my line of thought. So go to somebody else and let me gather my brain. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you, Mama Echo. Um, CJ, are you there? You do you have anything to add uh, to the discussion? Yes, I'm here. All right, can welcome. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank on, you. So on much. theft. Yeah, on theft. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think if, um, Niger Nigerians have ha, has been they have been subjected to um, abject poverty, um, so anything is expected because they are all trying to survive. Um, uh, many of us do not know what uh, many Nigerians are passing through um, because um, whatever Nigerian government touches dies. Honestly. Um, sometimes we compare ourselves with some other countries that we are poor, you know, that, that find themselves in the situation we find ourselves today. But believe me, we cannot really compare 
Nigerians or ourselves with these countries that we are very poor, you know, even before things start turning around. Um, believe me, um, um, some countries like India, there was, there was a time in India, I tried to make calculations of what, you know, what, okay, at the time, India were so poor as we are right now, they have good hospitals, right? They have they have good roads. They have two four seven uh, um, electricity. Okay. What can Nigerians boast of now that they have? Many of us, many of them, cannot even eat two square meals a day. You know. Um, do you know that today in in China, if you if you maybe you are a rich man and you want to put something like a satellite dish. Do you know that the government can, will come to your house and pull down that satellite dish? It has been like that for many years, you know. But today, if you see someone mounting satellite dish in Nigeria, it's like some the person is is, is rich or something like is okay. He wants to put satellite dish, but no. Um, the idea in China why they have to pull down that satellite dish is because if you're moving into any house, there's an outlet. An outlet that the moment you socket, you socket it to your television, you you receive more than 100 channels. You don't have to go and pay extra money to watch Premier League or other leagues in the world. So today, someone going to DSTV to go and pay uh, 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 so much money in order to watch Premier League is, 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 is something that all of us should, should start thinking of. Because Nigerian government allowed these foreigners, these companies to come and rip Nigerians off. Before, before we have GSM in Nigeria, you know, a lot of people who are doing business, some of them have to travel all the way from wherever they are to Lagos to go just to go and make an international international call. Yes. I, I don't know if there's anyone that remember when those days. I do. You I know? do, I do. So um, in, in a place like India, while I was in India, I made calculation of what they pay. In, when you mount something, it's like just the same receiver decoder that we use to receive DSTV. If you want it, you will receive nothing less than 200 channels. In that 200 channels, you watch anything you want to watch in the world, CNN, all the Premier Leagues, everything that is happening in the world. But you know the equivalent of money, what it costs them? About 2,000 Naira every year. Something that Nigerians, some, some Nigerians do pay like 20, something to 30,000 Naira monthly to watch every channel you want. And the South African country, you know, that have DHTV is milking us dry. The only thing that will benefit from that, which I, believe, I still believe that is evil, is all this uh, Ni Ni uh, big brother Niger nonsense. I, I even though I haven't watched that for one day. So the thing that Nigerians are passing through is, is what they're passing through is too much. Um, in India today, even the very poor people, the very poor people, they have electricity. They don't cry about the electricity they're having. So we we have a lot to talk about the state of Nigeria. You know? Yeah, thank you. Um, man, in terms of corruption, and what I found, I'm just oh, yeah, looking at is that... I haven't, really, uh, I haven't really finished. Okay, thank go you. ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So, sorry about that. The yeah, call, call is coming in. Um, so what I'm what I'm trying to say is that um, Nigerians are good people because that's the point I'm trying to drive at. Nigerians are good people, um, but the only like what Mama H was is saying um, is until you give us um, justice, you give us a fair ground to trade. That is when you st will start now um, trying to bring out the shafts. Who are actually the real criminals in Nigeria. But under the same system, we find ourselves a lot of us are trying to survive. Someone who wasn't a criminal may accidentally want to think of you know his child dying, his child not, you know, having not paid uh, school fees for his child. Um, you know, a lot of stuff he put into consideration and want to pick up a phone and sell it so that he, he his family can eat. Under those circumstances, you cannot really judge that person to be um evil. You see, because that person is trying to uh, for his family or her family to survive. So, but what happened today in Nigeria is that we have a system where um, the rich ones put many of us into serious poverty, 
and it has turns it turns many of us turns uh, um, many of us to to start thinking negatively. You know, trying to do something, you know, anything to survive. Um, I think that's that that's that's what I want to have to say now. Mm, I, I agree that Nigerians are good people, but sometimes good people do wrong things, and when you don't correct them, just like a good child, when you don't correct it, you create more room for you know others to commit further crimes. Not to mention the actual person that just committed the crime. And if you look at some of the you know toughest countries in against corruption in in China, they they, they, they actually ex, ex, uh, execute people because of uh, uh, this is corruption, bribery. Yeah. You could get executed for for Jonah. bribery. You, Jonah, know, yeah, you, said, same thing. you said yeah. correct. Yes, the only way we can correct this is that is on ground. Is giving mm. people opportunity to make a legitimate living. Exactly. If we don't do that, forget it. Mm, that's Just true. like CJ said, a lot of these people don't do it because they want to do it. They do it because they want to survive. And every human being has the instincts of survival in them. And the politicians, they know. That is why they continue to use us to do these dirty things for them because they will give us pain not to do it to survive. Majority of the things my children are doing, they are not doing it for them. They are doing it for one big man. Mm -hmm. Look at all the atrocities committed in River State during the election. Uh, sponsored by Wiki. Who did the sponsor? Wiki. Who did the atrocity? My children. And why did they take it from Wiki? They want to survive. And how, where, did, where did Wiki get it from? Wait, let me, we'll come to that. They come to the <laughs> come to services we are talking about. The internet services, all these services they do. You notice that all these uh, telecommunication companies are in our country exploiting our people in the watch of our government. And yet they don't even receive services the way they should. What they can't do in their country of origin, they brought it to Nigeria. They will tell them to pay unlimited for one month. A typical Nigeria will pay unlimited for one month and it will be two weeks or one week. Can they do it over here? When I buy unlimited here, I use it for the 30 days and nobody is talking. But yet they talk because there's regulation. So these are all the abnormality that we need to stop when it be coming. Because they can't continue to exploit our people. And because they are surviving, they now do all this atrocity to pay these telecommunication people, to pay all these internet service people, because they want to be in social media too. So we are... <sighs> Ordinarily, 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 a country like Nigeria, you see, like uh, what? Let, let's keep it short so that uh, you know how Nigeria was instructed, so that um, Ik uh, can speak. I, I don't know what I got his name right. Uh, the one with okay. the oh, tall sorry, hat. Sorry, sorry. sorry, uh, sorry. So, okay. go yeah. ahead. Yes, you can. Okay, let him speak now. Let's keep. Let's let me give. Yeah. Him okay. Um, when they finish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Nigeria, what if you can take this thing that so I can get his. name uh, the one with the tall hat, you can go ahead, <laughs> Prince. <laughs> uh, uh, are you are you calling me the tall hat? Hey, <laughs> so that's my, that's my name now. Hey, hey I, I, I I your man. Hat hat now. Now. Uh, uh, you, you know now. <laughs> okay, well, go ahead. What, what do you think? Uh, good evening, guys. Uh, you know, pretty much, I think. Uh, I think you guys have said it all. I love listening. You know, uh, that's. That's uh, that's one way of mm. that that's one way of uh, you know winding down. As you can see, I'm currently in a traffic. Um, you know, it's kind of like go back home time, so it's expected. Um, however, corruption in Nigeria is uh, a very painful thing. It's you know hurts. It hurts me to even hear them. You know call or complain and all that kind of a thing. 
um, pretty much the politicians are just there just to siphon the money, you know, and then uh, keep uh, people in, po in poverty because they know the more they put them in poverty, the more money they will be able to embezzle and do things that they want to do, you know. Um, however, I am a, an ardent solicitor for the fact that when I mean solicitor, I mean for us to understand the people back home. Um, 2021, I did, I, I traveled, you know, that was December. I know what I saw. I know right from the airport, you know, to the town and, you know, and then other places from the airport, you know, you see about 10 people come for how many bags, like three bags. And they keep dragging among themselves. And you're like, what is going on? What is this people doing? But you don't want to scare them. You don't want to shout on them and all that kind of a thing. And then even when you settle them, they will tell the other one, no, you are not among this one goal, so that he will settle you too. At the end of the day, I keep, you know, sharing good a thing. I had uh, more that I could share to them. But the most surprising thing is that going down the airport, you see some military men there. Those ones, they will pretend as if they want to help you to, you know, to stop your vehicle or whatever it is. At the end of the day, they come behind and then they begin with you. They tell you, oh, the, uh, 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 sir, uh, what, what do you have for us? And all that kind of a thing. You know, mm. so in all, it's hunger. It's not easy. You know, so I implore every one of us, if we can do anything to help, that would be that would be so nice. That would be so nice because if we if we wait on the government, they're not gonna do anything. You know, they're not gonna do anything. That's why they're bringing a a bala blue. Bala blue is just because they want to hide behind him and steal more because they already know he's a criminal. So they will hide behind him and steal more. Just like they're doing it in Cameroon. Mm. You know? So, that's all I can say for now. Please, yeah. anybody, if you can help, help people back home, please. Okay, thank you. Thank can you, I uh, my prince. Um, who is that? Uh, it's uh, Black. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I want to interject in all because of that last statement on where it, be, where it stand on. I uh, said, help them. My brother, we all have been helping. It is our resources that we sent home that has been surviving that country you are seeing there. Like I could remember about four or three months ago, it was the money accrued from that one that they share among the damn state. How long? Are we going to be helping and not change that state as it is today? If we keep on helping, we are causing more harm than good for them. We all came from there. We are like a survivor that is in the middle of the ocean, but we survived. We got to make sure that the ocean is clear of the shark so that they can survive. That is what we should do. Change the narrative change the system like what we are doing now with Peter Obi coming there. If we don't change it, our name will become help, 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 help. And there will be an increase in crime. That's all. Yeah, it's a bottomless pit now. If the system is not changed, sooner or later, Nigeria has to be self-sustaining and has to be a nation like every other nation in the world. The people in Nigeria are some of the most intelligent and uh, energetic and ambitious people. We need to tap into that for the betterment. You know, the, the comment that um, Mama Echo made is very interesting because she said, you know, the guy bailed out um, another guy from, you know, people, you know, supplying stones uh, only for him to actually go and, you know, do the same thing again. You know, and I asked the question, where did uh, Wiki come from then? If Wiki is corrupting people, it, it tells you that we are all partakers in this. And this is why I said it earlier on. Family members are one of the key sources of this type of pressure. 
you get into office, they want you to make money because they'll say the next the next door neighbor did the same thing. The woman across the, the the man across the town did the same thing. If you don't do it, you are a bad person in the context of Nigeria. And uh, it, it's a serious uh, issue that we need to have uh, with ourselves oh and our family. And this is why I think that Nigeria needs nationalist party. Nationalist parties, they are made of people that are committed to it's this a specific cause. And whenever it's like, you know, when your family member joins deeper life, you know, you're in trouble. Um, you can't, <laughs> you can't, you can't convince them to do uh, something the way they don't want to do it. That's how a nationalist party is. A nationalist party, they are there for a specific cause. Don't expect them to be corrupt. They are there for a specific cause. So, do, and I do, think Nigeria do, needs do, that do, kind of do, 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 But you know, sometimes some people that join uh, deeper life is because of hunger. They join it, they have no choice. Than to go there and start fighting, keep passing. You know, people, <laughs> serious, I can't believe you just said that. But deeper it's life, true. <laughs> so they go and suffer and fast. That's why they go to deeper life. Okay, that's yeah, it. Like that. Let me say something. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm glad we are identifying our problem, and this makes me to say, in preparation, while we are fighting for all this, there's need for us to prepare very well for 2027. And by the grace of God, the political forum I am going to, I am working on. I want people that has four, five currency that we want to work with to prepare them for 2027. Because we just have to have the good leadership to be able to correct some of these things. And we just have to push out a lot of information into families because Everybody comes from family, and it is the family that made the community, and it is the community that made the nation. So in preparing for 2027, as we begin to un identify all this, we're going to prepare a leader that has integrity, honesty, trust, integrity, accountability, and the fear of God. Whether you are a Muslim or you are a pagan or traditional or Muslim, we don't care. Mm -hmm. All these people serve the same God, not be two different God. And the Bible tells me say all power belongs to God. So people do has all this. And those of you in diaspora, this is when you have to call me. It is time for us to go back home, use the knowledge we've gotten and all this ideology. Let us go back and use it to build the nation. Nobody will build it for us. So the people here, they don't care about us. So, so we just have to. People with all this integrity, if you are interested in politics, please, 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 reach out to me. We will work together. Don't yeah. ask where will the money come. We have a way to make money. So just come, let's work together and begin to prepare for 2027 so that we can change our nation. Thank you. Well said, yeah. well said. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Engineer Ken Niger. hasn't said much. Yeah? To Niger, you see, yeah. the, the issue of corruption eh, is, is from the family. Is from the family. I just give you, just let me give you an instance now. Nigeria is a very, is in a very basic and corruption, even Obi enters tomorrow, tomorrow. That corruption is going to take under four years to leave. Our mind is cash, 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 and carry. You will imagine somebody has just finished graduating, you just graduated, and you're buying a car your father has not bought in his life. The way, the way we do things in Nigeria is not the way we, they do it here. You want to buy a TV, cash. You want to buy shoe, cash. Buy phone, cash. I want to buy the latest iPhone, cash. And yet when we are here, they, even the, the telecom company will bring the phone to you. They will be disturbing your phone. Come and collect. You pay in two years, three years, contracts. That is the reason why we have corruption. But if you know you can work your salary at uh, maybe 100,000, you want to buy a house, you deposit a certain amount of money in an estate, and then you start staying there, and they tell you pay in the next two years or three years or four years, this stealing will stop. Because you can come to Nigeria and go to an estate and buy a full street after stealing government money. And then you now rent the same house out to the poor people because the poor person cannot have that money in cash. 
Mm. If that can be stopped, the issue of corruption will stop because you chasing money. You want to buy something, you are chasing the money. Anywhere you see it, how you get it is nobody's business. You have achieved what mm. you want to get. That's, mm. that's our I, th I think that, that's, a, that's an interesting point. Politicians, you know, yeah. and politicians mm. are the main reason because only a person can steal money. He can't put, he has stolen the money. He can't put it in the bank. He goes to an estate. I want to buy four. I want to buy six. He's not staying inside. And to me, it's wickedness. You're, you don't need that money. You will take two billion. What do you want to use it for? You're not using it to build factory to employ people. You're not using it to help people around you. You will thief money. I know a politician that built a hall in Wari there. They did not go to bank through house. The cash was inside the house. And that building will cost about two or three billion. They, they built it without going to the bank. That's how wicked we are. And that was the senator. Hmm. Wow. You see, this, this thing you said about cash, uh, it reminds me of how Nigerians pay for rent yearly when most countries they are doing relatively yes. okay, they pay monthly. Mm -hmm. And I, I can see why, because if somebody doesn't have money to pay for their rent, they, they can do anything to get money yes. uh, to pay for one year instead of them to be able to survive month to month, month to month. And you there pay, are, you they, pay they, they say, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, this engineer, can, can I come in? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, okay that's it. You, know, yeah, you, you haven't said anything anyway, so go yes, ahead. I will just, I will just patient. You know, we, we obedient people. We are very obedient, you know. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> the, well said. Yeah, the truth is this, eh? This thing, this thing existed. It, it, it existed before in Nigeria, in the fifties, in the sixties, and all the way down to the mid eighties. You know, so when the corruption gets stronger, so it trust and interest started falling down. Back in the days in Nigeria, when you have a job, when you graduate from, from university, you have a job, you know, they will, you, you will take higher purchase, a car or a motorbike or even bicycle. They'll give it to you. You start paying little by little. Your job will be taken from you little by little from your salary. And the same way too, people were able to build house. They take loan from that job they start building their house at the end of the month the job will taking a little by little but these days it's not like that if the bank or the trust fund bank or the mortgage company bank gives you a loan they charge you over 140 percent yeah you know that, that you're going to be paying every month there's one there's one bank in in, in there's one uh, mortgage bank in nigeria but in Benin, where they give you a million naira Every month, they take 140,000 naira from you. Oh my god, yes, you have about 10 months to pay that money. So, in 10 months, they will make 400,000 naira. That's a loan shark, man. That, that's a loan shark. You know, that, that, that is that's is a robbery right there. That's a daytime right. robbery with the AK 47 in your head. And if you mm. don't pay, if you don't pay that money, they will rip you off, they will bring police to you. They would yeah, actually, I had a lady set herself on fire in uh, Ogun State regarding this sort of stuff too. Yes, uh, yes, that they were humiliating, calling her neighbors, and you know, causing problem for her. Yes. so she just got uh, tired of it. Yes, oh, in, in 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 nineteen in, in two thousand and fourteen, when my mom came to visit me here in the U.S., I asked of one uh, one 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 guy Obina is my is my friend back in the days. I asked of him, and my mom told me that. Uh, Obina, Obina got married and later on he went down to the east. He started carrying a farm. I said, what happened to his business? He said that Obina cried to her that the bank that he, he borrowed money from, that the bank came and he couldn't pay. They took everything, that he has no money anymore. I was like, wow. You know, the next day I have to, I have to get Obina's number. I have to send for Obina. And how much are you holding? So it, it was one that narrated everything to me, that this is how this bank mm. are, are working. So I have to support him to pay that money off, give him extra cash to start up his business. You know, so I've been doing yeah. things like this to a lot of people on my own little way that I, I, I'll be able to change. You see, for our, pe for our people, our people are not ready. I, I know I'm a player of labor, you know. It, it, our people are not ready. The criminality in our country it has been too much. There's, there's, no, there's no honest person among them. 
There's none. You know, it's so only, hard to find it, one. It, it, I'm telling you, my, my brother, this thing, has, it has passed family. You know, it has passed family. And it, 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 it has become unbearable. You know, it, you know, you know, even we that are in a private sector, you know, you create a business or a company that people have to be run, they're running it. You pay them every month the way they're supposed to be paid. But at the end, what you give to them, it doesn't, they, they don't, they, they don't value it. And that's what they're supposed to be, to be making. The little one that come to you, don't want it from you. You know, sometimes, yeah. yes, sometimes I'll let my staff know. I said, listen, that's why I'm your boss. But at the same time, we are co-workers. Because my job is to bring you employment. Your job is to deliver. So when you deliver the employment, then you make money, you make living. Then I make money too, I make living. But if I bring the job and the money to finance the job and you mess up the work, you lose money and time. Why me lose money and time? So the more you sanitize them, they don't care. All what they want to do is to bankrupt you, go to another A. You know, from yeah, here. it's I'm really, right. it's really that thing, that that thing you just said just now. I find that very, very hard to understand how yes. people can grow and, and see somebody. And it's like when you are a boss, they don't see you as a human being at all. Let me tell you the solution. Let me tell you yeah. the solution. But all these years, you know, I've been on my own for about twenty-five years. Then I've I've helped my dad and my mom, you know, on their on, in, in their business. You know, I find out one thing that 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 has to be stopped in Nigeria for things to start working is courtism. All these people belong to court, and when you take when you arrest them, when you arrest them, you take them to court. The next thing they will call their their number one man or their zonal leader or their head of zones. And says who, who who is in that court, who is in that courtroom that belongs that comes from my own court. Then the next thing they'll write around, around yourself. At the end, if you are not on the same society with them, you lose. They want to mm. save their own. You lose. Yeah. These are the problem we have in that country. That is why you see from the from the bottom to the top is fully fully corrupt. Okay, for example. Look at what just happened in our own bright eye in the daytime. That in opening in this 21st century, that our, 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 our mandate was stolen. You know, everything is on camera. Even the blind can, can easily use his own blindness to see it. Even the deaf and the dumb can easily, easily testify about this mandate. That this mandate was just, that they'll tell that, yes, we have done it. Nothing they happen because 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 of these people they belong to the same uh, court they belong to the same secret societies so with this evil secret society that they belongs to they are they are not using it in the daytime and in the nighttime to oppress other people that is not on the same society with them you know mm -hmm. so, that, that that security officer that was saying that he, he cannot tell who is a child and who is a grown uh, you, person is that not that our everyday it's, people it's, that is doing that that guy is a commissioner yeah. of police yeah. he commission doesn't have eyes anymore oh police should not say that he, 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 he cannot tell a child if that child if you tell that child is not more than six or five to six years old you know a commissioner of police that has a very high ranking, you know. You, you before you become a commissioner of police in police, you have to be in that post for over 20 25 years, and you have to be doing course every year to get to that position. You now do a day, a, a broad light day, like light, and, mm. and you, know, you, know, you know, that alone will tell you these guys belong to the same society, they are all in the same secret court. So, what they do is to look out for one another. You know, so the reason why our principal right now is still suffering in their hands because it doesn't belong to their court, you know, so it belongs to God, but definitely God is go God is going to win, you know, and when God win, when everything comes comes back well, at least this civil court has to be dead with.
is to change their leaders. Change their mm. leaders. Bring someone that doesn't belong to society and make that person to be the head and the head of command. So with that, that person can easily flush everyone that is doing this evil. You know, being in the mm. private setup and in the government setup. You know, these are the, this is what we are passing through in that country. Mm, we, 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 we are talking from the like that, I bet yes. you disagree with what, what he has spoken. I okay. bet you disagree with it. You okay. see, okay. When we, you, you know, I'll, I'll give a point. point. I'll give a point. I'm not trying to dispute his own fact. You see, when we try to say, we try to say Nigeria is not ready, before you say that, has Nigeria been given a platform to become ready? Have you not seen Nigeria fight and many were killed? If you give a Nigeria a platform, even the Nigeria that is corrupt, if you bring him to the Western world, you will be surprised he will change and it's everything about him, everything he has inside of him, we come out and you see him representing the same Nigeria where many multitude could not could not could not perform. So I will tell you why we are reason and thinking why Nigeria, you are saying Nigeria is not ready. If a man has been killed from his mind and his environment, everything that he needs to become who he wants to become has been tied down, relegated, and locked up in a room without him or her not seeing it. And the only thing he will think about is how do I survive? Which way should I go? Mr. A went this way and he didn't live long to see the promised land. Then which way will I go? He decided to go this way. But one day he decided to he saw a man, a light in a man. He decided to follow that man. Meanwhile, the corruption that has been planted in the land is still waxing stronger. So on that premises, I wouldn't totally agree that Nigeria is not ready. Okay. It is the mindset that has been damaged for well over 30 that, years. That is, yes, that is not true, my friend. That is well, not look, true. well oh, over, you came true. from Nigeria and you're a good citizen now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you are still no, no, you're excuse me, time. excuse me, Ajina K. Yeah. Uh, both of you, hold on. I I disagree with you as well, Engineer Ken. Let me tell you why. Maybe <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure who was talking. I think that's um, Black Panther. Yes. Um, yes. Let me put it right. Why I disagree with you 100%, yeah. Engineer Ken. Okay, why? You are right that the system, uh, uh, whatever they are doing, the courtism or whatever they are doing, mm -hmm. is affecting um, the system and all that. But you've forgotten that the system failed. That's why people can be able to practice courtism in Nigeria. And don't forget that we have the same people that belong to this satanism courts. Mm. They are not in abroad. Like uh, uh, a Black Panther was saying, did you see anybody still practicing it? Why? Because automatically when you arrive in abroad, the system will shape in you. Automatically. We are, I've said it before too many times on this platform. We have no, Mister 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 Evans. They are in the, somewhere like Italy and Israel. They are there. No, no. no let me ask you. Let me say that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, please. Hold on. I'm going there. Uh, Prince Akwashi and Mister uh, Engineer Ken, you guys hold on. Okay. You see, when people, when killer and a kidnapper come to United UK, for example, immediately they are arriving. Um. Heathrow Airport, you know, go take them, go and school, go train them. Say, this country, if you misbehave, you'll be arrested. They change automatically by themselves and become a better person. Because if you try it, you know you're going to jail. Then let me go back to the country that you guys are talking about right now, Italy. Do you know how many Nigerians are in prison in Italy that is languishing away? I know more than 10 people 
that I used to know in Nigeria that they are in prison now in Italy due to courtism in 22, 25 years imprisonment. In fact, I can testify that one of them, their, his mom, actually, I met his mom when I traveled to Benin in 2011. The mother was crying. He was crying because they've already sentenced him at that time to 20, I think it was 22 or 25 years in Italy. So I don't really want to go there because it's a personal, it's a private issue. Do you know how many of them languish in a way? But how many courtism, uh, how many courtists do you know? Do you know that is languishing away in, in, in Nigeria prison? None. Then in this area, we agree with Nigeria Ken because when you arrest them in Nigeria, they have somebody that will come and remove them. But we arrest them in Italy or any other country that you reference to, nobody will remove them. You will spend the time there. A commissioner was arrested in, in Italy, uh, a, a commissioner for art and tourism in those yeah. states for courtesy, right? You guys, yes. you are aware. Yes. Uh, and all the time. Years. Pardon? He did two years because uh, exactly. he has a strong lawyer and he played a good No, lawyer. okay. Engineer Ken, thank God you are beginning to see what I'm trying to say. He spent two years. Are you going to tell me a commissioner that we, you know, we go to prison in Nigeria for two years because of courtesy? Have you since since the creation of Nigeria? Have you ever seen any commissioner go to prison in Nigeria because of courtesy? No. Do you know how many governors, uh, ministers, uh, 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 House of Rep members, all of them that that are courtists in Nigeria? Or are you going to tell me that Kwaremadu that is in prison right now that they sentenced him to ten years? If it was in Nigeria, anybody would sentence him. No. A Kwaremadu is sentenced in UK now for 10 years imprisonment, nine years and six months, and he's still receiving salary from the satanic Nigerian government. That's what Please. I'm saying. No, no, no. That's not what you were saying. You that are blaming was... court no, you, no. Blame you, you, you this to me. No, 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 no. You I, mean, I, I you you that. Me. I, I no, engineer, that. that was not what you were no. saying. No. Hold, on, hold, were on, saying. hold on, hold on. Engineer, can hold I hold on, you? Hold on. This is what I said. This is what I said. I said the problem we have in Nigeria that these people that belong to the same secret court that if we can have an institution, no, that no, no, you didn't mention institution. That you said we can I have, said. listen, you can have an say we can have, that, that, hold on, no, 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 that does it belong to court? You'll be able to change everything. Is you know what you said? Yes. Then I, me, I'm telling you that we don't need to have Peter Obi that doesn't belong to court to have a, a, a to stop courtism. We need to have a better system. If that better system is coming from Engineer K, courtism will be totally eradicated. If it's coming from Prince Akwashi, courtism will be a, 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 a extremely a, a totally eradicated. If it's coming from CM, coming from me, the same thing. No, it doesn't have to be Mr. Peter Obi. That's why I reference to abroad. Even yeah. when you people are mentioning Italy, I also went back to let you know many Nigerians are languishing away in Italian prison just because of courtism. And if you check for the past three years or four years, do you, you will not see the year anything to do with courtesy for it? The same Italy one I reference to just now. No. You won't die. Try yourself. Try yourself in Italy that you are talking about. Why? Because the system works. It works. If you misbehave, you go to prison. No, no fasting and prayer go remove you for his side. Okay, okay, you see this court you. issue. You see this court issue. He started from the university. And if you do a censor of the number of people that joined the court while we're in school, majority were lawyers engineers and science students because they have time for no rubbish they don't have serious I, assignments to I do. disagree with that my brother the truth i know you disagree is, i have, I I have my own reason why i'm saying that listen my brother no who is that do that one okay, anybody okay, let me give you an example hold on hold on hold on sir hold on sir oh, mashallah, i don't really want us to focus on courtism let's focus on the failed system you understand the, the system, system failed. I don't want this topic to be on court because the, 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 the guys in the court are everywhere in government. Yes, they help each other. And hold on, sir. That's what we are saying. 
is because the system failed. You guys are not getting it. When system works, sir, if your papa they caught is you, you, you fair put your papa for 70 years imprisonment. The, your neighbor go run from the court is it? Uh, uh, what are we talking about? When we continue yeah. to practice biasness, ne nepotism, uh, favoritism, <laughs> Nigeria can never change. Because say, I know engineer can do something wrong, I'm not going to talk to them. Before, because say, I know CM, he do something wrong, I'm not going to talk to them. That's what killed Nigeria in today. Nepotism. Let's talk about the system. If we can get it right through, through Mr. Peter will be, Nigeria will not become better overnight. Have that in mind. But at least that will be a better journey. We have embarked on a positive journey. But if we continue with this APC, Nigeria will continue to sink and sink and sink and sink forever. Thank you. Back to you, uh, uh to Nigeria. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, yeah, um, Gospel and uh, yeah, can I be finished so that Gospel can contribute? Yeah, let me just uh, let me just spend in this, in this, uh, 30 seconds to, to uh, run. you see, you see, uh, uh, man, this is it is tough, you know, it's very, very tough that uh, the institution uh, are being compromised, you know, with so many of talk of our uh, our powers. Um, and also people, you know, I, I, I don't I, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just confused, you know, because if you look at both the left side, the right side, you know, everything is in the church, is in the Muslim, is it, is it in the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the idol worshiper. So all of them are just in the same, uh, in the same crew, you know, in the same gang, in the same gang. So what, what we really need what we really need is a better institution, an institution that will be tough, that the head will be tough, that, that, that the head will be a head that will not take no sense. Engineer K, Engineer K, yeah. I bet before you finish your 30 seconds, because that, this is your 30 seconds, not ever finish. Make <laughs> on a focus on, just yes, make on a focus more on judiciary, to be honest. Hey, let's yeah, send baba. Message. My brother, because if I'm not, now so will your fold our hands, these people go. The ring come again for our head. You see, yes, now, now, now we talk yesterday too. Let me say that they want they want to kill me because because this is what I'm saying. That's why that's why I brought that that that, that thing a uh, court is in. You know, this is a street court. But if you look if you look at those two justices, you know, a lot of them are into court. None of them is free. Before you can be a chief judge, you know, there are sacrifices you have to pass through. Mostly, you know, you know, being in, in, in Abuja, being in that high seat. So a lot of them are all the same, the same clique with, uh, with this man. You know, the, the only thing that can help us right now is God. You know, when we go in our names, in, in, in our different homes, when you pray, you know, we should put this very, very uh, 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 thing, this Nigeria thing, we should put it in God's hand. We should pray about it. The time you used to pray for your family, take a few minutes of it and commit this, this mandate. To God, take control. Let every power in every altar, in every, in, in every altar that are fighting against this mandate, let that power die before on the 28th of this month. You know, at least the Bible says, where two or three are gathered in, in, in God's name, that he is there. The Bible says there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. So this time around, we have to go back to our inner closet and pray. Because it's only God's prayer that can easily help us. Because these guys, man, these All guys, right. they, are, they are not easy. All right. Okay, don't turn to prayer now, B. Thank you, Engineer K. All right, we are Engineer K. Remember that we have a full house, so anybody that talk more than three minutes is enough, please. Now, for me, the screen is full. Yeah. You know, before we move on to Nigeria, let me quickly reference to what I was talking about just now because I'm a, I'm a very good researcher. I quickly researched this right now to let you guys know that the total Nigerians out of 2018, I guess, Nigerians in prison in Italy is 1,000. 
1,500 Nigerians in prison. You know, that is it right there in Italy. All right? And that is to, this is 2018, you know, be, by now, it could not reach like 10,000 Nigerians. But according to this article, if you read it further, which I don't want to uh, for, uh, move on because there's so many adverts on it, you know, I don't want to show everything that is there. You know, we have a Nigerian that is in Italy, uh, that is in prison in Italy for 48 years imprisonment. And he's uh, from a do state. All right? He's from a do state. How old was he since when he was <clears throat> 48 there? years? Now they said that he's from a do state. So, my people, uh, a system that works, you need to be. Una no knows, Una no know to be system. Now, system fed Nigerians. And our system they fail. These satanic leaders, satanic leaders, they are be looting and looting and looting just for them and their uh, uh, family. That's where we are, where we are today. Let's talk about this. Back to you, Fujinaja. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and so at the, he can have his say. I think he's not here anymore, is he? Uh, Yang is gone. So yeah, regarding the judgment, I, I I was I did see the judgment regarding that of Adeleke uh, the other day, and I was looking at it as a way of referencing the way these judges may approach things. Um, from what I gather, the way they did it was that uh, Adeleke won because the other side didn't provide sufficient evidence. They didn't even provide one diverse evidence at all. And uh, that is a problem. I don't know how you can go to court and you want to overturn something. The critical evidence that you need, you didn't provide not one of it from one polling unit and you expect to win the uh, this in the, the court case. Uh, that was very clear. The court, the, the court made that decision on a very, very clear basis. In other words, he appears very sound on his merits in terms of logic and the rule of law. Um, so, and f for that reason, I would say, okay, there is logic to, to even the Supreme Court hearing with the tribunal and all the rest of it, that even if it goes to that point, you're going to get the same thing because Nigerian and judicial, they are not stupid. They know that um, their credibility is at stake too. They themselves, they are at stake, not only the uh, candidates are at stake. So it's up to the political parties to present their evidence. And I believe that, especially now that they want, they are looking to televise it. Uh, they all, you know, Atiku and uh, the Labour Party want they stop uh, uh, this thing televised. And if that is done, and everybody sees the evidence, I don't think there is no judge in Nigeria that will rule against that, except the evidence is not tied to the kind of stuff that they did with uh, Adeleke now, because now they have a precedence for what they don't like and what they like. He, there's no way that PWB will present evidence from Beavers and show him, show them that, hey, look at this. Uh, it's clear that this is cheated and the judges will rule against him because they just ruled on that one. And people are watching it too live. So they, I, from, from my position, I, if those judges ruled the wrong way, my God, they would have been the enemies of the country and they will be enemies of our, the entire black race as a matter of fact because these people will set Nigeria on a course of a on a spiral because at a time when Nigeria should be growing, it's like what Babangida did in 1990. What that what that man did on that with that cancellation, he set Nigeria backwards. You know, people were traveling to their hometowns from because people were worried that uh, there's going to be killings and all, all kinds of nonsense going on. So people were running away from the cities and going to their villages. And so we don't need that kind of stuff happening this time. And I don't think this um, uh, current crop of uh, judges uh, are going to do that. I really don't think so. And uh, uh, Tunaja, evidence is going to decide this one. Tunaja, um, mm. are you aware of... I don't know if you do you know this guy called Imoni and uh, Casey, right? No, no, I don't. You don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are those uh, uh people you know, that I know them. You know how they went to present a gift and uh money or whatever for MC Oluomo. Let's see to this short video. Um, I, okay. Do we really need that? Um, little cash, mm -hmm. like this, no matter how little. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to put some little cash, mm -hmm. like this, no matter how little. Mm -hmm. And a drink, mm -hmm. and MC, 
Now, Baba. You're a powerful man. Now, Baba. You're a great man. The last man standing. Now, Baba. I'm still a Baba. No be lie. I will celebrate your presence. Good morning in the building. Hey, hey. If I am well. Hey, no be lie. You guys are highly welcome. Now, every day. We outside. This is just a token from our hearts. All right, I told because you know the reason why I have to bring this in for you guys to see how Nigerians, the same Nigerian that is suffering, that understand everything what is going on in Nigeria, how they celebrate the wrong things. Anyway, you guys can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Nigeria, 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 those people are Nigeria, like to conscript them into this, the military yes, with this, the this video wing. you showed just now. This video you showed just now, like I always say, Agbe are the one ruling the country. They are just coming to pay homage to their colleague because their senior colleague is going to take over. What does Imoni do for a living? These are the reasons why people are going to 419 to try to fast money. Where was he how many years back? What was he doing? These are the reasons why corruption is in Nigeria. You, nobody can track your money. Nobody can track what you do, how you make the money. He's, he's going to go and meet somebody that he's just like saying, or God, I'm here. Hallelujah! In case your government start to, I'm on board. Mm, all right. What is it? And 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 one other thing that is also bothering me with all these several people that Nigerians we need to start preparing for is that um, Nigeria now because in short, most of West Africa anyway because our the way we spend money is so compared to other parts of the world is so low in terms of the money the our spending capacity. This is why these drugs are not moving into Nigeria in terms of, you know, selling it to the people. There is a chance that when we start progressing, we will have a big job to do to block the drug trade from in, infiltrating the country and into the West African and uh, this uh, sub-region. And that's just one point. Then on the second side is that you'll be surprised how many people, that's the proportion of people in the center of power in Nigeria that have this colonial mentality that uh, Fela talked about. You'll be surprised how many that these people, they see the West as some heaven where they have to prove that they they are worthy of going traveling overseas. They, they don't see, they look at their people as if their people are um, this thing beneath them. They are, they've joined the class of the elites uh, in London. And, you know, I even gather that some of them, they, they give them uh, this access to the Privy Council and all, all, all those sort of things, the way they behave, they are not behaving like people that are running their people, they are ruling their country. They are, they are, it's as if they are not citizens of the, uh, how do I describe them? It's like if they are not, they are citizens, but they don't, their loyalty is known to the people. They are, and many of us are like that. And some of, even some of us are not even at that high level. You need to see the way they talk. You know, they, they use the word. I don't know why Nigerians still use the term colonial master. Europeans don't even use it. Why do Nigerians even do that? Because these their leaders still teach them that this is how it's, it, it is. They, these people, they have, they have a sizable proportion of them in the middle of power and this is why things don't work because how are you supposed to liberate your country how is not even liberate develop your country even when your mindset is listening to other people when they tell you to increase interest rate you increase when they tell you to devalue your currency you devalue when they tell you to um, come overseas you come overseas whatever they tell you, you go and do you beg them for money all the time how are your people ever going to develop? The result is very clear. In 1970, yeah, you can argue that, okay, it's not so clear. Nigeria was doing relatively well. We have already refineries and all that. Look at the result now. When Fela sang that song, Colonial Mentality, Nigeria was way better than it was right now. Now, the result is out for this mentality that they have. Because they all say, the many of them sing the same tune. And it needs to change. There are so many of them. Look at them. Was it Kiamu that was in the US? He was like so proud in his Twitter account. Like, I just wake up in the US and I'm doing this. And you know, like, oh, you're telling your mud bloods and uh, talakawas that cannot ever travel overseas in their lifetime how you are in heaven. This, this thing that they do, it needs to stop. And I, I seriously hope that, and this is one thing that I'm, you see, Peter will be interesting. He touches on so many chords without necessarily saying it out loud. You know, you see here how he talks about, why would I go and build a house overseas? Why would I always want to go and travel overseas in the first place? 
those are signs of somebody that wants to focus more on what is going on here. I'm telling you, you know, if that guy gets into the office, Niger, yes, you know, Mr. Say, I want to say something. To Niger, yes, I want to. You, okay. okay, go ahead, Mr. Say. Okay, what what I wanted to chip in is this: from what we've been saying so far, and all the ills we've been pointing out. To be honest with you, an honest, committed, dedicated leadership we begin to change the attitude. You know, all these things we've been saying is because of the fact that people lost hope, then they have to survive. Probably if I'm in Nigeria and the situation gets the way it is, I may be one of those people you people may be seeing, God forbid. But we, we look for, that's why when people, when, when I listen to people and I have hope, where the man is, is that the fact that you wake up, you find out that your leader is not interested in stealing your money, number one. He's not. He's not his interest is not how to milk the people that he came to serve. That gives you a lot of hope. And that will change the system whereby, since the leader is not interested, maybe in nepotism, in stealing, and all those things, the lead, do you, you, the, you that is in charge in one corner of the country, it will get to you somehow. It will it, it will whittle down to you to make sure that really this is what we want. This is the type of honest leadership that we want. Ordinarily, there's no need for any Nigerian leader, even a chairman, to own house abroad. Even if it's one bedroom. It doesn't say good of you at all. It doesn't. Mm. If you've been having it like all of us, maybe you are in the UK, you have a mortgage, you pay, you are living. Now you now go to and serve your people. If they trace it that, okay, I finished paying, even I don't even buy, I didn't buy it, I wasn't living there, you handed over, maybe your children or whatever. That says the type of patriotism you show. For instance, let me point this out. Do you know that, if not that Peter B said this, I didn't know it's possible, that somebody will come to a place like you, okay, probably you are hungry, you struggle, do everything you can, keep, the, keep to the law and get a permanent resident in which you will be celebrating, oh, thank God. Even if you go to Nigeria, you will like to keep it. You now work and get a citizenship. Even if you go to Nigeria, you like to keep it. I never knew Peter would be on his way back. He went to immigration and said, have your team back. Have your permanent residence so that whenever I'm coming, I will take a visa. That shows somebody who is quite honest and patriotic. So a lot of things, we know our, we know our problem. We, it has to be at least... 90, 80 to 90% leadership because those people that are there, they are not there for us. And Peter B used to say that these people there, they are not there for you. One of his, uh, what is it called, platform uh, speeches he made in the first, first October. He said, these people there are not for you. All they care for is for them. If you know the rot going in and the waste, you won't be here. You are listening to me. He was telling them. So I have the faith, I have the hope that Talking about the judiciary, Oshun State has set the pace now. I mean, they said the template now because I've re I read a, an excerpt from the what they were saying that any result, what the result they're expecting is the one that confirmed through beavers. It's no longer the issue, and that is where P2B is basing and Labour Party. So if they should refer to Oshun State, the case is as good as one. I do not see, even without the twenty-five percent. The case is as good as one because if they audit the result and show it the way it is, <clears throat> the case is done. But I pray not that uh, let them not fall victim to Tinubu's uh, billions and all those things. After all, why can't the judges say, look, let us change Nigeria? What's, what, what surprises me is that some African countries that is relatively stable, we enjoy like Tanzania, all these things, they are still waiting for Nigeria to wake up. That is what, even South Africa, they will still be saying that in some quarter, they say, <clears throat> said the world, the world, the, the Africans are expecting Nigeria to lead, to wake up, because mm. Nigeria, if they get it right, even when we are the poverty capital, yet people that are not poverty capital will still be referring to Nigeria, said, if Nigeria gets it right, Africa will survive, not to talk of the Western world. So I have my faith, I have my hope that definitely all this thing, all this suffering, what Nigerians put in, particularly for the past eight years, it can never be in vain. We can't go below where we mm. are now. We can't. I feel, I think so. Mm. I yield. See, the day, the day uh, they, will yeah. they, will, they will submit the evidence, yeah. that's the day you know who wins. Yeah. Um, I want to ask that CN question. 
I want okay, to answer yeah. it at his question. Okay, ahead, do you know why? Do you know why Nigeria is being respected despite any other thing? And people still look up to Nigeria. I, I want to give you a scenario. Because of the you. talent we have all over the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, apart from the talent, I want to this one is a is a blessing from God. I want to give an example. If an adult man is in a gathering where you have the Yorubas having to break a cola, they will ask, is there any is there any adult man, bini man here? Before they break, because he has to put his hand on the cola before they break it. That is true. It is not, it is not, um, it is just God. It is just God blessing. Not um, uh, uh, whether tradition or no tradition. They must ask. Even about FIFA, they must ask. No, 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 uh, no, no, can, no, 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 I want, no, I want to make no, no, reference. No, no, I want no, to make no, this no, reference no, to what what Nigeria as, as a whole. What you are see, saying in effect is that the other African countries, they've seen the talent, what we are. But they've they seen fear. they've seen they, the light, not even talent. They see something different in Nigeria. They find confident in Nigeria leading than any other race in Africa. When Nigeria a man, is the hope of Africa. When a man, Nigeria, when a man, hope, most of don't start when a man hope is on you, it will nothing can convince him anymore. That is not you. That is not by. It's not by you doing playing any game in a, on earth. It's just a God gift. That is how we see Israel. If Israel handle cola not and if he go convert out to one million within a year, that is just God and, and, gift. And, and, yeah, to Nigeria. I, yeah. think, I think I think CM answered that 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 question correctly. It has yeah. it has to all to do with time. Something. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, Mr. CM. Yes, please. Thank you very much for what you just said. And also support this, my brother, too. You see, Nigeria is a father to all African country. In the 60s to the late 80s, Nigeria were the one feeding almost 95% of African country. You know, we fed them, we took care of them like our own. You know, even in Asia, in Southeast Asia, I had the opportunity to do some classes in Delta, Kuala Lumpur Technical School in the, in towards the eight, uh, eight, uh, late eight and uh, nineties. You know, I I probably I just I went to Penang, between the border of 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 Malaysia and Thailand. My brothers, what I saw, eh, my eyes were full of anger. You know, we drove from 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 Jobaro, from Penang down to Thailand. You know, when we when we were close to the border, we drove for over 12 hours. On the right hand side were Pakane farm. On the left hand side we are we are we are we are, we are, we are a, a, a rubber farm. And this, word, this is what Obasanjo gave to them in the late 70s or early 80s from Benin. From Benin. You know, it took, it took the rubber plantation uh, seed from Benin and the, uh, the, the, the Pankane from Naifo and gave it to Malaysia. But today, Malaysia is number one in rubber production in the world, rubber one in palm oil. Yes, I know. And in that palm oil, yeah, in that palm oil, yeah, they do shea butter in it. They use the milky cream. They do uh, soap in it. They do, they do a lot of stuff in it. When I saw when I saw that farm, my brother, for good twelve hours, it was farm left and right. You see, that is why everybody in the world is looking to Nigeria to find to find the right man. To pilot Nigeria, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a fight. Not only a fight in Nigeria, but also a fight from the Western world. Because the Western world will not allow it to work, because they will not make a fortune from it. Remember, they are the one giving us this. They are the one giving them all this loan. When they give them this loan, they know that this loan is not is not coming to Nigerian people. 
They will share the loan money that they borrow from this Western world among themselves, and they will go and bank it in the same bank in the same Western world. That the Western world will now take that money to, to, to borrow that money again from the same bank and use it to develop their own country. While the Nigerian people will pay interest on that money, why the politicians have shared that money between them? You see, that is why it is win-win for the Western world to make more money if they have a corrupt leadership in the in the parody affair of the Nigerian people. So if someone like Obi will come in, that now make things to work, they are going to suffer it. Because Nigeria will now change from a consumption country to become a production country. All this refinery that we are crying about, all of them will start working. So they will not see barrier of oil to steam abroad. And every ship that comes to Nigeria to dock and load, they will stand there, they are under the sea. Our sailors will work. Our, 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 our marines will work under the sea and catch them. I remember about 10 years ago, I have a younger sister who is in NDLA. She's a very big, big lady in NDLA. She told me about, yeah, that was like, like, like 2015 or 16. She told me that a submarine from America came to Nigeria. It was in worry, sucking put oil from under the ground. You know, it took the Nigerian Navy to, to wake up after a week later. And they told them that they are just surveilling the the uh, 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 the river the river area in Nigeria. Then the, then the Nigerian Navy shook hands with them and took photos. But under the water, they were sucking our oils. This thing will be going on every blessed day. Every blessed day. That is why that is why these these people will not allow it to work. That is why, wow. yes, my brother, yes. It's it, is, it, up, it, is, it is a win-win. It's a win-win for this Western world. So what we are fighting, what, what we are fighting right now, we are fighting, we are fighting the, the, the homeland, the homeland that's the Nigerian land. We are fighting the powers that are being the land. We are fighting the powers of fighting the powers that be outside the land. Yeah, well said, well said. You know? So so these are what we're fighting, fighting for. Because an American person, can American businessman or American senator or American governor, we don't steal money from America and take it down to Nigeria. America will come there and get that money. Not even so, Dubai, you're talking of Nigeria. Okay, talking no, Dubai. for it, for instance. <laughs> so how how can or why why is it not the other way around. So what is the Nigerian government doing to come back to this country, US, London, every other country, to restrict back our country? And because our people don't know that they are selling us out. Most of our people see foreigners as a good thing. Most of them don't know. They they call them even when they some of them when they, some of them when they use the term colonial massa, they don't say it in a false way. They they say it like, yeah, it's not a, it's just one of those our uncles, you know, those nice people out there. They don't they don't understand. You, you'll be surprised. That, that's why I said earlier on, you'd be surprised the proportion of people in the corridors of power and in our institutions that have that mindset. And that is because our leaders don't teach them anything else. Yeah. And the people themselves don't know. That is what we are doing now. It's we need to Niger, 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 Niger. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No B has been here. Let, let's uh, let her contribute, please. Yeah, yeah. Um, please um, uh, welcome uh, Neobi. And um, you know, what do you think about what um, everyone has been saying? Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm so surprised. I just got back from work. I say, uh, this will still do. How do you whether you leave for a glad this now at midnight for a day? Because for we for America, uh, our day, day is still break for our side. Anyway, mm -hmm. sir. Mm. Good evening, everybody. Thank you all so much. Good evening, um, good evening. How are you? Good evening, my brother, my triple chief. I did now. I just right, <laughs> right now. So, um, anyways, um, I don't even. I, I've not really been followed the whole thing since morning because I was at work. I just got back from work like few. I mean, 
few minutes ago, they are about, and I just realized that Niger watched his life. I click on the link. I didn't know the link was going to go through because I wasn't sure if it was live or not. Uh, but anyway, um, like uh, the little that I've heard so far, it's all about, you know, us understanding that the truth about it is that what has eaten into the system of Nigeria have gone very deep. And a lot of people in Nigeria do not, we are so, a lot of us in Nigeria are so ignorant of how, de how deep and how, um, how deep the problem of Nigeria have gotten to. That is why it's easy for people to still um, assume that there is anything good that will come out of the likes of Tinubu and the likes of um, uh, the likes of Tinubu and his cohorts who are, you know, who wants to take over the leadership of Nigeria. That's why you see people will always want to believe that there is something good that might come out of it, you know. Without, like we always say, people will always make this comment, oh, Chinubu built Lagos, Chinubu built Lagos, and everything. And then that comment, that thing is beginning to sound like a broken record to me. And it doesn't even make any sense because I always, that was telling somebody, a friend of mine one time, I said, if Chinubu, and I said, what people call Chinubu building Lagos is that Chinubu actually built Lagos as in like, he built Lagos as by he took over Lagos. I have a documentary on my phone. Somebody sent to me of how much that man ripped Lagos. And he what he did was to rip Lagos state and he kept Lagosians, majority of Lagosians in perpetual poverty. And these people have been so, you know, they, they, they act like they so much love the chain of their slave master. That is why you see, see the like of that man at the wallet that called in here and wants to tell us that we need to stop everything that we do and to support the, uh, the business of Tinubu and uh, the leadership of Tinubu. And then coming to the area of, you know, the uh, the international community and the uh, Western world, you know, enjoying what um, the, the mess that is going on in Nigeria. I want to believe that that a very to a very great extent they are. Because like we are saying, I do not understand the reason why our people will comfortably Nigeria's clamor, Nigeria's scream, Nigeria's yell with for all these things that are happening, people coming to overseas to steal money. Okay, let's take for instance the 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 um properties that were that we we heard at some point. I think the things that came from us uh, and everything that they said that we are confiscated and the, even the properties from the ministers, like the one that uh, uh, um um What's this woman's name? The one they have that uh, Tinubu support. Uh, there are so many of them scattered all over the place. The truth about it is that, except one comes out in the news, we will not know that such a, if not that this um, Shei Tinubu stone came out, nobody would have known that something like that was existed. But the thing is that most of these uh, properties, they come there, most of the, these countries, they know that these things are stolen money because they, I mean, the world is a global village. They know what is going on in every country. They know what is going on in every country. And then, yeah, they know everything that's going on. Whatever problem Nigeria is going through today, America, my other brother, Europe, and everybody, they know about it. Likewise, every other nation in the world, they know. So, but the thing is that where they keep silent is where they have something they are milking. And our, our people tend to enjoy it because by, this, by the simple fact that they allow them to milk as much as they milk, they give them supposedly immunity in quotes. That's why they can, they'll be able to go there and then you know, enjoy all the amenities that they have over there. And then you see people, uh, 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 properties like the one we're talking about, it, uh, uh, be, uh, that Nigerian government uh, is supposed to confiscate, that is supposed to uh, uh, have been gotten from fraudulent this thing. And you still allow, in a sense, like you still allow something like that to happen, and you still, I still, uh, they still allow in Nigeria, you know, these people, that this time our people to recycle that same property Imagine. among themselves. Because all right. these properties that we are see that all these people bought overseas that we are they're supposedly confiscated, if you look at all of them one after the other, they are being owned by the same people, the same politicians in Nigeria. That was why Shani Tonubu was able to lay her his hands on, on the one. Like I said, because she Shani Tonubu uh, came into uh, um came to the news. That was why, that's how we got to know about it. There are so many several of them, several of them. All over the place. So and, what are we? And, and, and that case was about one point four billion dollars of crude oil that was 
taken by these uh, Nigerians that the NNPC uh, head didn't mm -hmm. get the money from them. Yes. And today, Nigeria hasn't recovered that money. Uh, exactly. Exactly. So you ask yourself, you know, how... And, 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 and it boils down to what we're saying, that when a leader who is who has the mindset of building a nation comes into power. When it, if you look at the um, what is what, I'm, I'm, what is this guy, um, country? There's this country in I can't remember that one Spanish country. I can't that country now. That one young boy, one young boy just took over. I don't know. Maybe somebody here can remind me. One yes, young boy that's about huh? Equatorial Guinea, I think. No, it's not Equatorial Guinea. No, it's not Equatorial Guinea. It's a Spanish um, one of these Hispanic countries. Oh, he's Chile. Are you talking about Chile? Chile? It's not Chile. It's not Chile. That 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 thing. Their president is a, a young boy of about for this for the something for the something years. The guy that came in and the way the rest, that first of all that guy came. I'm trying. I will, I will, maybe I will. I'll try to uh, um um get his name and I will I will I will I will, talk, I will bring it here. Mm. He took this guy first of all when he came into power. I mean, it's not Colombia now. One of those countries. He did this guy, immediately he came into power. The first thing he did. The first thing he did was to shut Western interference into their country. That was the first thing he did. He shut Western interference. And he began to clean. And, uh, why, why did I forget this country? It's one of those countries like uh, 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 around Brazil. Not those Hispanic countries. I can't remember. I'll find out the country I'm talking about. The, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Is it no, Ecuador? No. I think, no, yes. Yeah, no. it's, 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 it's Ecuador. It's, it's not I have to Ecuador. find. I have it's to find. No, it's not Ecuador. It's not Ecuador. It's not Ecuador. It's not Chile. One of them. Ah, huh? it's, it's not Colombia. No, it's not Colombia. When I find, I find it out. So I, when I'm done, I'll find. Recite. I find it out. I'll, I'll say it here. So it's the it's first thing that that guy did. Yeah, yeah, it's not America. The, 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 first of all, the guy is a very young boy. He's in forties. I think he's not forty-two or thereabouts. The first thing he did immediately he came in was to shut down western interference and when he was doing it his people were thinking that they were going to die because people always have this impression that mm. these are the people that help to build their country you understand because that is what most of our people think they think that oh americans will help us a uh, 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 british will help us in the recent exactly. country they cannot no. they cannot when you make your place attractive they when they're coming they come with business Exactly. But when you make it attractive, they come to make whatever you have. So that this guy shuts down Western interference. That was the first thing he did. Then he began to cleanse the, the country. The other day I was watching a documentary of that country. You know, you, you see, and one thing that that country had before was gangs. Gang, all this drug, gang, gang, uh, in fact, gang, gang, gang uh, uh, activity was more or less destroying that nation. And now, yeah. in fact, the guy, he took one kind of radical uh, 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 transformation in that nation. He, well, he was, most of the things he was doing, people, some people were thinking that he was crazy. You know, one of the things that he, this guy did, even though he may sound funny, he began okay. to build, he began to build prisons. He began to pick all these gangs, began to pick them. Everybody who is in the gang, all these courts, he began to throw all of them in the prison. He was, yeah. he, they were not being hard or anything, but the point is this. First of all, Western interference did not influence them. And now he began to claim it. Today, as I'm talking to, I'm, I, I don't even think he has, he's, uh, his uh, uh, presidency has have, uh, have lasted up to two years. The way that yeah. country has turned around now, you will see women on the street, they, if, like local women on the street, they'll be telling you, oh my, they never believe that their country can be this safe can be this fun, can be this interesting. People, I watched the documentary. And I said that, to myself... That, that is a nationalist leader there. Yes, and I was saying to myself, if I, this was, I watched it towards the time our, our Nigerian election was coming. And when I was saying, I said, this is where Nigeria is going to be if someone like Tinubu, I mean, uh, someone like Pitobi comes into power. Because mm. first of all, you understand where our problem is coming from. First of all, this is a man who, is, who wants to get into power, not because of what he wants to get for himself. A man who is interested, who has seen that this country has a problem. There are people, I said it the other day, there are poor women in the, in the villages who cannot boast of one full good meal. There are people who are suffering, crying. And his intention is to build a nation where people like that 
at least their, their problem will be minimized, even if it's not eradicated completely. This is oh. the mindset he has. Not people who are going, if you hear the glyph of Pastor Skayam, all these people that are talking, they are only interested in what they will get by the virtue of their relationship with the person who is going into power. They don't care about what anybody on this. Even if there are old men or women in his village, in Ugeli, I, thought, I think the guy is from Ugeli or whatever. No, he doesn't Sapelo. care. Sapelo. Uh, Sapelo or whatever, wherever he came from. He doesn't care. He's not interested. Madam, is he a Salvador? No. El Salvador, God bless El Salvador, you. Yes. El Salvador, yeah. God I bless was you. Lavish by crying, drug. Yeah. El Salvador, no. that's the country. Yes, El Salvador. Read yeah, about this. Read, read about El Salvador him. now and see the transformation yeah. that is going on in that nation now. The, what that that young man has been able to do in El Salvador within a space of how many months? See, it took a young man to do it too. Yeah, we are talking but, about uh, that, guy for, the, that guy is about the, forty two for about forty two or forty three. I don't think he's got 41, 41. Oh. Na ye bukele. Exactly. Yeah, I Bukele. 41, 41. Very young boy. So, like I said, the first thing the guy did was, you see, when uh, America, America, I live in, uh, in the U.S., and when America wanted to come in, I, he said, eh, 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 eh. he first of all shut down that interference. Now, now, when you hear uh, other uh, 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 co uh, Colombia and Brazil and all these people breaking and walking down to uh, 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 coming uh, 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 to the western border of America to run it, El Salvador is not. They are not. They are not even thinking about that not, this, not, because the way El Salvador is now, nobody from El Salvador wants to leave because they uh, they are beginning to see that there is a transformation coming. Things are changing in that country. He was most, 37 years old when he got into power. Most of this, most of this, most of the people Imagine. who are, most of the people who are in, most of these boys who are gangs now in the gangs, right? Now they began to see that there is no gain in that thing anymore. Because like I said before, majority of the people in Nigeria who get into most of these things they get into, they are not there because they enjoy what they are doing. They are there, but they do those things because the society have pushed them to the point where they think that this is the only means of survival. Because things are not working. Things are not right. And, and they are not seeing lawbreakers being punished. That is the... Exactly. That's another thing. Like, like I said, that was the... Four. If you read that story, you, the, one of these... This guy began to build prison, like say prison the market. People were like, is this guy crazy? <laughs> Even criminals would be like, ah, oh. this one looks like it's too much. Oh. The guy they was, have enough space for the, us. The first okay. infrastructures the guys, this guy was building was just... Was just yeah. building prison left, right, and center. Oh boy, the guy, the guy tried to. You guys need to read it to answer. It's about that guy. I read it and I was impressed. I said, "Oh my God, this yeah. is the kind of thing that people so is coming to do to Nigeria." And yeah, it's, yeah, unfor yeah. it's unfortunate, and yeah, we are still relying yeah. on. When we I'm make really our country attractive, America will come for business, and we do real business with them, not them coming to take what we have. Look at what China is doing in Nigeria now. China, look at what China is doing. And Nigerians cannot talk because this is you know how much money Nigeria is owing China. You know how much we are owing China. And that money will come. Nigeria collects it. They don't even use it to do anything. They they sit down and they share, divide it. Everybody carry and go. It's it's so unfortunate. And, and, and the money we owe all these people, if you look at it, it's something that Nigeria, if we were, we got our act together, it's not a lot of money. Of course. We really, we really we, do we really need to borrow money in the first place? We don't exactly. even need it. We, we don't Indeed. need it to. We don't, we don't need, need to we borrow money. We don't need to borrow money at all. Stop, stop oil theft. The money, the oil they are stealing every yes. day. In a, is it yeah. oil theft of one yeah. month? Is it? Yes, See, please. Even, it's a even trillion. without the oil theft, even without oil, which are, exactly. many of these countries, El Salvador, yeah, yeah. I don't think they have yeah, anything. Yeah. We, can, yeah. we could have been able to do it ourselves. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. You just give me one minute, sir. Let me just trail voice to uh, Mr. B. See, mm. you know, you know what China did. In the late 90s and in the late 80s, the same thing that this guy is doing in Salvador, that was what China did. China started building prisons. After, after they don't build, building prisons, they started jailing people in China that were committing a, a crime. Those gangsters, those drug barriers, those uh, uh, those those, those uh, uh, foreign people that were that were that, that are Chinese, they imprisoned all of them, and they now trying inside that prison to become a factory. 90% of men in China that you see, 
have been made by Chinese prisoners from their, from their, from their prison. That is why right now in China, a Chinese man will never, never commit fraud in China. He or she prefer to go outside to go commit that crime, not in China. It is exactly yeah, that's true. In China yes, now. Because, that is true. Yes, because because if he's caught, he will go and work in the factory inside prison all his lifetime. You know, and if it's and if it's high level criminal, I uh, this in fraud, you could get execute, executed executed for it. Yes. it, it Government officials have been executed for uh, corruption alone. Yes, if you so, if you watch China in the nineties and in the eighties, eh, you'll be surprised. When our Igbo men used to go to China for business, you know they will go with a, a million dollars cash. Chinese men will be shaking because they have never seen that kind of money before. That is, those were the reason why you see people like the innocent mortals and the rest. They were now no, they now gotten that power from China to build their factories. So the Chinese government started investing in them, bringing that plant down to east to start building, running it by, by China. Because they used to go to China to buy parts and to uh, and to buy parts and buy other stuff. There are so many of them like that that brought the interest of China down to Nigeria. That is why the Chinese company right now, they now build China to become strong than anything. In China, your one naira will not lose. And, 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 and like like what you said, if you, even in America here, do you know that most of the American products, even the Apple phone that Nigerians are running, um, um, uh, people are running crazy about Apple phone, owned by, owned by America. Do you know that everything is built in China because they have cheap labor? Uh, yeah. So yeah. They, they have cheap labor. All, like all these people that uh, uh, Mr. Ken is talking about, you know, most most of them, they, they're there. They, prisoners, they use them for something meaningful. Yeah. They get paid at the state. You, America will carry their own products, go to China, build it in China, and they bring it back because they have cheap labor there. Yeah. You know, yeah. they go, they go where they, they, they go where they, where they, where they gain. Americans go where they gain. Europeans, go. what do you see when they China? Because people yeah, see when they China, they think these are all you, Chinese. You, you know why? Do you know why they did the Americans did that? The Americans, they, they are only trying to to help the Chinese. If huh? America back no, out of the no, Chinese they are economy, helping themselves. Like America is helping the economy. <laughs> they are helping the economy. America is helping the economy. No, no, no. America is helping the economy. No, no, no. Look at what it. Look at what it. Look at what happened. You know how okay. much America is holding China during the time of I, during the time of Obama. It was more than seven trillion dollars. If America should pay their debt to China, America will crash. If um, if America pull out of China, China will they, crash. They will crash. America will crash. Because they do waiting. No, America will crash, not China. China America, will crash, bro. America you know what you did there now. Yeah, yeah. China will crash. <laughs> See, China will not finish. You know the, China, you you know the kind of weapon America they sell to the world. You know I'm now, Pale. See. The thing the, the thing is, uh, the, 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 the thing is, the, the thing is, the thing is, um, like uh, this story about El Salvador. Though the chap, what he's doing there is just doing wonders, like uh, Nobi said. But the advantage Nigeria has in terms of recovery is our talent worldwide. That is what most countries, when they look, that's why they give Nigeria a ray of hope. They will say Nigeria get their acts together because they've seen Nigerians all over the world doing wonders. Not every country can boast of it. If El Salvador could turn around only because, but I believe even if they have talents or experts, it can compare to Nigeria. We all know that. So the thing is, we get the type of people to be there who is interested in turning. I think I've argued somewhere that, yes, others are building prisons like China did or El Salvador is doing. Our own, we are hungry. Get the people that commit crime, send them to farm, let them go and farm and cultivate food. That is another way of using God bless you, Mr. CM. This was what I was saying. <laughs> send them, send them to because, farm, let them go because, and farm. Because I believe every country is peculiar. If you know what you need, you solve it. In fact, the thing any leader should know is this. When you, if you love your country, the formula that worked maybe in country A may not work in your own. But you have to be be I mean, sort of you will be something like something peculiar to you because if you come to Nigeria now, there is hunger, food inflation, no, no mechanized agriculture. 
a leader will just say all these people, if you commit crime, rather than putting you in prison, feeding you, they make sure that they send you to, you go and cultivate, you go and do farm work. Direct labor. So if you don't like it, don't do don't do the crime. Uh, do Mr. It in... uh, Mr. Sia, do you Mr. know that? Sia. Sorry, do you know that what you're saying eh, is what Egypt and uh, Egypt and the, I think Kenya is doing when it comes to cotton. If you come to America, America now, most, most, people, most people that live in, in the US, they know about Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret stuff, shop. Sure. Do you know that the products that they used to make the Victoria's Secret products, that everything comes from Egypt and Kenya? Right, they have their farms there. You know, initially they wanted to bring their this. Then the Kenyan people they decided to use most of this. Yeah, this most of these their villages, village, uh, uh, um, villagers. These these young men and women that have nothing to do, they yeah. work in those cotton farms. They work in those. That is what that is. When you when you when you don't when you, if you don't want to go to school, you want to be a dropout. They send you to that farm to that uh, cotton farm. That's when you go there and make a living. And, and somehow, like I, we always say, America will always go where they want to they get. But at the end of the day, because like I said, they wanted to bring their people, they want to come and do it as in, you know, rip from those uh, cotton farms. These people said, mm -mm, if you must do it, then it, there is something that we too have to get from it. They started to start pushing those their, their people. Those people who don't have anything, those people who don't want to go to school, they start pushing them into those farms. They are the ones that farm in those in those cotton areas. So the government of Kenya and Egypt they still get uh, um, revenue from all those places, and then they give they get this of the, some of these people that have nothing to do. Those are people that are supposed to be that may be causing nuisance in the society. They get them uh, involved in 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 on in all those places. There's one a popular man in this uh, U.S. now that has, he makes the best, uh, one of the best uh, uh, bed sheets and everything. The same thing he's doing that, that he's doing in, 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 uh, in uh, Egypt. So okay. Africa has what it takes. Only all we want, all we need, all we, the only thing that we lack is good leadership. When we have good leadership that has the brain, that has the yeah. willingness to turn things around, you, irrespective of what these people bring, you should be able to also enrich your own country and then be able to, you know, enhance the life of uh, of the common man on the street. But Nigerians, I wanna, the, kind of, the kind of leaders we have in Nigeria, they're not the kind of people that I, it's like they're not even thinking towards that direction. They're only just to get cash, lock, push, put cash in, in the bank. Throw Can it I in push in an input here? Uh, it's a two-way thing. It's a two-way thing because the, 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 the mindset of an average uh, Nigerian here is different. Now, what I we, if you have gone to the Nigerian prison, you will, you will, you will, in short, you can't put a pig there. What is a two-way thing? Nigeria needs to reform the prison system. Have you been there? I, I don't go there doing all this NGO thing. We don't. We don't go there and I go help them, they, they, they like no, them now. No, I was thinking if you have been an inmate, not say visit. I mean, if you inmate have been an inmate, <laughs> even my, you know, say my father grow that we police speaking now. So I don't do that kind of thing. I know. So we it's a two way thing. Nigeria need it. It will be coming. We need to reform the prison system. We need to reform it. We need to build very well equipped prison system in Nigeria. Because we, 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 we can manage the prison system in such a way they will be productive. Because if you don't have a home no, where you keep a prisoner, no, 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 a well no, 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 home, it no, will not no, work black, out. No, Black Panther, Black Panther, what you saying? Yeah. If, if, you, if you so embellish the prison, you feel that we have to build it. I see if you are building a hotel, you are attracting people to live there. What my prison no, reform will no, be? No, Listen, no, no, no I'm no, coming. No, my, no. My, prison, my prison reform will be... You see, those people that are in prison, they are in their productive age. And we know that crime in Nigeria, like we've all analyzed and agreed here, is the, the, crime we, the crime in Nigeria is committed not really by choice, but by chance, because they can't help it. They have to eat. Now, with our prison, yes, with our prison system, ordinarily, if you bring those people out, they say, now we are man, they walk in the chop. You put them to agriculture revolution. This, this is a vast agricultural land. Now, person go cultivate them. Bring those prisoners, put them there. While they are doing it, they are getting, they are making good, they are getting skill, being productive, and even earning a living themselves. Prison won't be attractive to anybody. I am in support of you now. That, that, that is one. 
prison won't be attractive to anybody. That is one. Now, when you're doing this type of thing, that's one. If somebody must be in prison, if you're not, you use Brazilian system. If they send you to prison, they say they sentence you to 10 years. You can come out after two years if you show evidence that you picked maybe a carpentry scale, any scale, or you read in a, so many books in which you can write the exam from there and come out. Because the essence of prison is not really to punish you, but to reform you so that you can be productive. Because when you put somebody in prison, the person is wasting. And when the person is wasting, it's even a liability on the government if he falls sick, all these things. So why not tell the person, say, look, you have energy to go and rob women, uh, overpower them, come and use that energy and be driving this tractor. Because that way you are getting you are getting something out of him. Before you know it, you start removing there. So prison should be more of reformative than punishment. Let's start at least for what we need, Nigeria. Mr. What, Sien, what Mr. Sien, yes. sorry to interject. I am with you. What I'm trying to tell you, if you don't if you don't go, if you don't go on ground to investigate and see the Nigerian prison system, you will know that it's a far cry. Of that's why you see people coming out of Nigerian prison, they go back to crime. I've just been, you know, whenever anybody mentions any country, sorry, um, I try to look up data about them. And when I look at the structure of the country, what this guy um, is working with, you can see why uh, he's able to do what he's able to do. Look at the, the military size, the population of El Salvador is 5 million, their military size is 42,000. Uh, people which gives you an average of uh, 100 and um uh, this thing uh, 120 people for one soldier in nigeria it's almost one um 2000 people for one soldier that we we have not our security we have not taken care of it at all it just anytime you mention any nation I, when i go and check it out that's doing well this is the kind of numbers you see you see that they structure their country very well. This is why he's able to tell the Americans, shove off. Because to do that, you need to be able to protect your people and protect yourself. Otherwise, that country was at civil in civil war from 1979 to 1992, 13 years of civil war. They went through. And they went through a lot of difficult period. But from the 2014-15, the people somehow upped their security level. From 2015, I think uh, this in um, five or so, they increased it. Then again, they increased it again. So, and um, when they increase it, you can see now that boom, they, they, they started having a, a bit more autonomy and ability to speak for themselves. This is the, the you will see the pattern. If you check the list in there, and let me just send a link anyway, just in case. Uh, so, as people see the pattern uh, that nations use to free themselves. And Nigeria, for once, these are our political leaders are saying that they're going to upgrade our Nigerian security posture. You may not see the result immediately because clearly the military posture was changed just what year was that, 2013? By 2019, this guy came in and he was able to do what he was able to do. So it gives them room to be able to think for themselves. It gives them room to create a leader like that in the first place. Because but it was, it was one can't... leader that did it now. It was one person. He, he just took one leader. No, it wasn't only him because the person that upgraded the security wasn't him. Because somebody was there that did it to 40 something thousand. It was at first 30 something thousand. Somebody increased it from 2005, it was around 15,000. Can you imagine? They increased their security from 15,000 almost three times, three times over. They increased their security by the time they get to 2014. Yeah. Uh, to Ninja. To Ninja. And they are not at war when they did They were not at war when they did it so. I they did it in peace time. The, the, whole thing, the whole thing boils down with, it boils down to having leader leadership that, that is focused on nation building. Yes. That's it, just yep. purely what it is. Because yeah. which whether the person that before him or him, the point is that they had leaders that got to the point where they say, you know what, we need to build our nation. And until we get a leader that is interested in building the nation, not building self or family, then things will begin to turn around. And that is what we are clamoring for, a leader that is interested because all this this military thing we talk about in Nigeria, they will always tell you how much they map out for military. They will always tell you how much they invest in military and everything. But you don't even see it take effect because the money that he, whatever they are putting in there, some individuals are somewhere, you know, you see it for their own personal gain. And they are not even equipping these see, guys. See, see, they are the not doing anything. Uh, when you do the numbers, when you do the calculation, the number they are putting in 
is what you are seeing. Personally, I don't know why people are surprised by that because we think that everything is being stolen. Let's say some has been stolen. Even in the West, they have been stolen. So we are using the same kind of barometer that we used to judge Nigerians as in the West. But the amount the, the people in the West put in their security is huge exactly. compared to ours. It's, like, it's unbelievably huge it's true. compared to ours. It's true. When we are spending four, four billion, they are spending 160 billion. That's the UK alone, 67 billion in their military every single year. And that is a country of about 66 million people. Not like Nigeria, that is strategically very important with all the challenges and the security issues that we have. So you can see that if we spend even half of what the UK spends on defense, oh my God, Nigeria... Na Ni Nigeria, Nigeria, leaders, Nigeria leaders simply have what I call misplaced priority. That's just what it is. Like what you're saying, like what you're saying, you know, investing in all these things, putting the money there. They don't put money where not money is needed in Nigeria. They put it where it's not needed. They have misplaced priority. That is basically mm. like what you're like, managing the country. Yeah, they're 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 managing. Managing it. Like when I borrow what you're saying now, I have a friend, a very close friend, I can't know who I'm talking about. I have a who is a, 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 um, a, um, an army veteran in America here, right? The army puts, puts her through school. The army took, they take the way they, they take care of their military. I have one in my church right now, a young man from Nigeria who just came, you know, joined the Nigerian army. I'm telling you. This guy That's came within within one year or two years. He came. America American yeah. government gave him a, 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 a stay, gave him a, the green card right away. Before we, I'm, I'm talking to you, the wife is not working. He is out, out there. He's not been in there in the American army for more than a year, a year plus. They are taking care of his wife. They take good care of their own. Yeah. And Nigeria, Nigerian leaders have misplaced priority. That's the problem. As a matter of fact, the person that Ms. Obi is talking about. Is my elder brother's wife. You know, she she's the US Army for almost 20 years. And now she, she's she has been in North for a very long time under the US Army. And now she's now doing a, a nursing practitioner to become a doctor in, in nursing, you know, under the US Army. And she's now a veteran also under the US Army. You see, in Nigeria, you know, when they budget money like that for the military. Some big dogs in Nigeria would just some big dogs in the military and also in, sen in the center and the, and the minister of defense. All of them would just take that money and share between themselves and use a fraction, maybe like maybe like 10 percent from that money to service their weapon and keep the soldiers into hunger. You know, and, and let me tell let me tell you guys something. You see, you see, way back, back in the days in Nigeria. Nigerian militaries were very, very well paid. They were very, very well cared for. You know, but the ones that they have now, they are too evil. I want, I want to rephrase our memory for a minute. You all remember about two, three years ago, the, the helicopter that went down, the plane that went down, when one, uh, the Nigeria uh, uh, Mr. Uh, 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 the general that was in charge of Nigeria defense, you know, that, that went down, the, the man that, that died. What happened? That guy was assassinated by the army because the senate called him and it was about to reveal the people that was eating the nigerian army's money was about to start calling their record and that guy wasn't a full name it was a pure okay. salmon i'm trying to remember his name the one that He's just a, died uh, alex Bade. alex Bade. Yeah, yeah, before they brought in a, a rabble before they brought alex in a rabble, alex so alex Bade, i think alex yeah. Bade from so, from adamawa state yes. also. Yeah, so when they saw it like that, they have to set him up and they took him in, they took him above the sky. Even the pilot had jumped down with the parachute and crashed the plane and crashed the plane and killed him because he was about to reveal what is going on in the Nigerian Army, Air Force, and Navy. It was about mm. to reveal it to the world. Oh, to yeah, see. yes. I they know took about him it. They took Alex him Bad yeah. Alex Bade. I think I think he said sometime that, that what I said. If he should reveal what is good, yes, he said it. Say yeah, if he yeah, should yeah, yeah, yeah. open the up the next seat, the next oh. seat, he said he's going to reveal it and he's yes. going to document to back it up to back it up before you they know, kill I, him. I, before the case, that was the next seat by a week or two from there. Then, by a week later, they took him out, they killed him. 
They kill me. And he, 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 he should have just released it instead of yeah, exactly. talking. These people, you know, he, when you want to do something, just do it. Because the moment you start talking like you're going to do it, it's almost like you're blackmailing them or looking to, as as uh, Rita said, that I'm to collect corn. And you know, Rita, I, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't go and collect corn from anybody. Uh, he said I'm be scarce from this place, so maybe I've got to collect corn. Nobody's giving me corn. I'm, I'm in other places uh, defending Peter Obi and uh, making case for um uh, the this thing what is happening in nigeria now so that the country will be better you know these are the conversations we are having the people on the ground need to start understanding these things yes because they don't know they, okay. for me that part is really astounding that even people you think are leaders like judges all of they don't know they really don't know they just because they've grown up in a nigerian system where they have been conditioned to think that okay everything is okay the europeans respect us when we go there we spend money they are very nice people it's a very nice country that is in short that is our heaven in other words it's almost like our heaven really that like they, they make nigeria hell so that well, when you are successful you're not able to go to heaven and come back as you see fit you know the heaven that they make for nigerians it's really strange that uh, this thing way of living our you heaven my, is in our brother, country my brother what I believe, my own definition for for Africa, I want to take us a little bit back to the Bible. You remember in the Bible, the Lord says that he regretted why creating mankind. And mankind was kind of making a revolution against God. They don't want to worship God anymore. He now said that if we refuse, they will raise a stone to worship him. You know? So to my belief is this. The mankind that God says that, 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 that he regretted of is a black. Is we black. Because ask me why. The reason why I, that is my own thought. The reason why I look at it like that. Look at Africa as a continent. Look at, look at, uh, uh, look at, come down to North America. Come down to West Indies. Come down to, uh, 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 to Caribbeans. Anywhere in the world that black man is the, is the head of affair is very, very in developed. Corruption everywhere. Evil everywhere. Even the America that I live, when you go to black neighborhood that have black senate, that have black representative on that same neighborhood, you can't even live there. It's a problem. The roads are not good. The house, are, the housing is not good. The house is not good. Everything there is even worse than some of our villages in Nigeria. Why? Is there a cause for a black man that black man has to do this? You know, yeah. you know, it's can I interrupt you a little bit in that? Go ahead, sir. In, uh, when you say that, I guess you're generalizing it because places where I've been to in America, um, like uh, places I don't know if you are close to a computer, check Stockton. Stockton is, uh, has a black mayor and they are doing exceedingly better than every other city around them. You understand what I mean? Let now, me apart, let, let me answer, apart let, from... Let me answer that for a minute, so Just hold on a second. If you buy a crate of egg that has 24, and 18 is bad, and you now have the many seeds that is good, you now tell me, is that, is that, is that crate is good? You talk about stuff, you come to New York, come to Jersey, come, come to Florida, you know, let me start calling state for you. And no, New York, New York is Jewish. New, New York is Jewish, though. No. It's not New York. New York, York mayor New York, is Jewish. New York, no, New York is not Jewish, my brother. New York, I've lived for New York for about. Oh, the two guy, years. Uh, 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 the yeah. governor. No, 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 no. The New governor York is Jewish, Jewish, but the black guy, the yeah, guy. he just got in. No, he just got no. in, though. No, New York mayor is not Jewish. I beg you. I know, people. I know, I know. He's a black guy. He's a black uh, police officer, ex police officer. Yeah. But he's just oh, running, though. He's he's bring, a black guy now. New York, a black guy. Yeah, bring got, it, bring yeah, it back to Nigeria. Do not okay, wait, 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 wait. Let, let's, do, let's, okay, do let's, not let's, deviate. Let's, let's, America, do not deviate. Bring it yeah, back to let, Nigeria. Let, we are discussing. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's not uh, take this argument where it's not supposed It's not necessary. I think I understand the angle. Uh, um, um, Ken is going, but the point, what the I think the point we're trying to make here is that there is something fundamentally wrong. Yes. You know, with the mentality of the black 
I don't want even want to say black man. Nigeria, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in Nigeria right now. Okay. Nigerian government. Yes. There is something fundamentally wrong, and we can say most majority of African countries that we allow until we get, get to the point where we truly understand that it is in our hands to build our nation. It is in our hands to make our place attractive, not for people to come and infiltrate and take from us, but to come and get into partnership with us. That is what we need in our nation. That is what we need in our country. The way I uh, um, see, uh, what, is it, what is it called? Buhari went to do coro coro uh, coronation. What is it called? Coronation for in England, right? Governor, uh, President of uh, Ghana went for that same coronation. Oh, that man has gone back to his country. Buhari has seen his dentist. Buhari uh, says the, the dentist. Can you imagine that kind of nonsense? This is what I, I'm talking about. They make that place look like heaven. That's the thing. Can you imagine? Ghanaian Ghana president came and he went back. Other countries came. They went back home. Buhari decided to go and see a dentist. What is, what is dentist? Decided to go and see a dentist in, 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 and now he is there, yeah, and I believe, I believe I believe he will be there with some entourage. We'll be wasting Nigerian money because it, it, the money that he they borrowed that he has, they've not paid is about to leave office with a, a you know huge amount of debt, and he is in uh, uh, England seeing a dentist to see and, and, and fill his cavity. I've been a cavity one do I've been a tooth extraction. Only God knows. Buhari, I, I bang it. Uh, what's his name? The one they they said they selected. Now, they said he flew out. I, I, it's so it's so unfortunate that I saw my uh, Festo uh, Kayamo uh, saying that he went to what was the word he used to transfer for nation building and the strat strategize for inauguration. I said, who is only fools that they have to, they will use this big grammar to de to de to to to, to uh, uh, the, uh, uh, what is it called? What word am I using for? To confuse not people like us. You are telling me, okay. First of all, why would he be going for, for nation building? I, 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 I forgot the word that he used. The last time I checked, Nigeria still have only one president. So why would he assume? Let's just, for the sake of argument, though. Me, yeah, I like to do my own, for the sake of argument that he went to see foreign investors on behalf. Like, why would that? Why would they be talking about something like that at this point in time? And again. That he went to strategize for inauguration. Do you need to travel outside Nigeria to go and strategize for it? And like I don't, it doesn't even make no sense to me. Like sometimes when I see Kayam, I say, please, anyone that knows that guy, they need to get a good padlock and push up padlock his mouth. Because that guy talks like someone that does not have brain. He talks like somebody that oh god. Sometimes I see him right. I'm like, did you say that this guy actually went to school? Like, where I where I know he doesn't have a wife. Where is that? Where where, where are his, uh, his children? Somebody needs what, to. What do you mean? He's, he's not married. Kiamu, Kiamu get what? Kiamu no get what? He's, he's a married. He's a serial divorcee. No, he's, he's a he's a oh serial divorcee. Like fair, like a Femi Femi for the guy. He's still no one, family. no one, no one that was wondering. I was like, man, no, that, what that a is, woman. He's a serial divorcee, like a Femi Kaya Kaya. Only God knows what is wrong with the two of them. He's a serial divorcee. That one no get they don't get any woman leave. Have you ever seen Google Kayamo's wife now? They will tell you this one from this year to this year divorce, from this year to the, the Google Google that with Kayamo's wife now. I don't mind that that one. So my point is this, you know. The this the kind of the way the mentality and the ideology that these people have about whatever they do, and that is what pisses me off. What gets on my skin when you hear people say that. Why would Peter B want to come, uh, uh, be president after he does not have experience? Tinubu has experience. And my question is, what has the experience, where has the experience gotten Nigeria? Somebody like Ojiz Okalo will be telling you, I have an, I have experience to be the Senate president because I've been in the Senate for years. And the question I ask all people like him is, what has your experience done for Nigeria? What has your spirit experience? How has your that experience that you people claim you have experience in stealing, experience in in in, in, in wickedness and 
evil and looting. That is the experience people have. Because when people talk about being experienced in governance, when uh, uh, um, Barack Obama was coming, people were saying, oh, he's experienced because he's been a, he's been a, uh, 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 whatever, he's been a senator, he's been a, and when he got into power, you saw that experience play out. You see a man who will stand and get into diplomatic, you know, relationship, diplomatic talks, diplomatic agreements, you see a man that has brain. And somebody will come and tell me that uh, 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 has experience experience is stealing that man still has a case hanging on his neck billions of dollars that he stole and nobody said anything are you coming to tell me that he's experienced that is why he has to be nigerian senate president the number third man in nigeria our country is in danger it's in trouble with the this kind of human beings it's yeah. ridiculous i think one of the ways we can be doing this like you know these platforms that we are on sometimes you know you can have over a thousand people watching it as some of them from Nigeria. We should be letting them know some of all these things. Yes, we are talking about Nigerian policy, but they also need to be aware of the signs that they need to be looking out for. Leaders that are going overseas all the time, that is not normal. Leaders that are going overseas for medical care is not right. Because if, if they were treating themselves in Nigeria, Nigeria healthcare system would be better. If you start doing these things, what that will mean for the people is that they will start becoming more self-conscious as a nation that no, you shouldn't, because some of people have not even asked these questions. May, I, I know for sure all parts of Nigeria, North, South, East, West, all of them, they are against this idea of their leaders going overseas for treatment. One, the area they are not very clear about is the, uh, the rate at which their leaders travel overseas. They don't understand that that is abnormal, that that is extremely high. You know, even to, uh, what's the name, Joe Biden, when he goes out, Within a day, two, Pum is back into his country. He, 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 this is um, uh, what's his name, uh, Rishi Sunak. If they have an agreement, if they have a, a conference somewhere, he goes attend that conference. Boom, back to the UK. Whatever they are doing, once they finish it, back. They don't just go and disappear for weeks, months. They, uh, Buhari just went for um, uh, this thing, uh, the, this thing, Islamic, uh, this thing in uh, Hajj for Hajj. eight days. You know, something that other people just go boom, boom, out. He has to spend eight days there. And he, Nigeria, he wants to name a Nigerian counterterrorism uh, site. He's naming it after a Jordan a Jordan president. As if we don't have Nigerians that they, that deserve the name. You go and give it to a, a Jordan. Oh, how about African these leaders? What is wrong with these people? So, Nigeria, can I ask you a question? Yes, please, go ahead. Please, um... He... <clears throat> Since Buhari entered office, what can you really say that he has done performed as a responsibility being the president of Nigeria? One thing apart he from, has done apart, apart, right. apart, from, apart from sending um, uh, to the Senate that he wants some amount of money to be loaned. What do you do? you ask him what he has done right? No. Uh, the, as a, as, a, as a president, he has a res, um, civic responsibility to Nigerians to fulfill some certain thing. As a president, what has he done? What do you think he has done? For one day, you can say that this man did this as a president. That he, so something happened. He came out to do this or do that. What do you think mm, his wow. responsibility has he done? Has he functioned as a president? Has he ever functioned as a president since he became the president of Nigeria? I think you can never accuse Buhari of going out of his way to to be a president of Nigeria. He has not put himself out there. You can't, you can't, if you go Buhari, so it's almost as if he just governs Nigeria like, oh, th those are my people. Okay, okay. We'll just do, uh, we'll just dance the dance and pretend as if we care about each other. The guy doesn't care about running the country properly. He's not passionate about it. That is not his passion. He's just going through the motions. That's the way he ran the country. And it's a shame that Nigeria has had to put up with him for this long. That said, it's not because everything he did was evil. Or sometimes, even if he wasn't there, Dangote Refinery would still be functioning. He didn't, at least he didn't torpedo that one. I can thank him for that. He didn't destroy that one. Um, the second Nigeria bridge, he didn't go and, you know, set grenade there and blow it up. <laughs> I will thank him for not doing that because some leaders are terrible. Look at them. Uh, the, 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 that one, he, had, he ran three elections and canceled all of them. You know, he left the country in tatters. 
at least this one is going, he's not just looking for things to destroy. And he's trying to run away from office. So if, if he wants to say, okay, if you want to find, for me to find one good thing, that is the area I would say he, uh, he hasn't left the country in a total mess. Where he's in total, as I said, there's still time. Let's not make the mistake. They say time. The court case is still going on. After all, that's what Babagida did. It was the last minute. He, he, he completely left the worst thing he could leave for the Nigerian people. So these leaders, you have to be careful about them because sometimes they are there fulfilling agendas. Because what I discovered this week that should really bother people is that um, in 1966, after the uh, Nzogu coup, that they, they said there were posters coming out. You know how the Northerners thought that the coup was tilted towards, you know, killing most of their people while the other people in the southeast and the south south are not were not affected that much. And uh, can you imagine that has happened? Then in that same environment, there were posters coming out mocking uh, uh, Tafawa Balewa, Amadou Bello, and stuff like that coming out, and they they were saying that the people were mocking them. Can you imagine the environment? And what bothered me about that was that how is this possible? Is it that Igbo people did these things or people were being put up to trigger these events because Nigeria was set up to rip itself apart? Because that Nigeria was on a path to a strong to becoming a strong country. Remember, during that period, that's when the Asian countries were building themselves up. But instead, we as a major country in Africa were reverted into fighting each other. And I, I can for the life of me believe. That after a coup like that has happened, people have died. Some people were mocking leaders like Tafawa Balewa and stuff like that. I, I find that I, I can't believe it. The person that was saying he was saying that he was the people that was doing it. I said, Are you sure that this might not be a psyop to create that environment that would divide the people and weaken us? Because if you look at what Babangida did, too, he didn't have to do what he did, he didn't have to cancel that election. He had three chances and he still canceled it and left Nigeria in tatters for the throughout the nineties. These people keep our country unstable so that we will not be because our greatest enemy is instability. If your country is stable, your leaders might be completely useless. Chances are that you'll start figuring things out. You will start figuring slowly, you start figuring things out. And I think that is something that we have to keep an eye on. And that's why I really, really appreciate what Peter B has done. And I, I really think that people that, you know, believe in Peter B, they really are trusting somebody that has proven himself so far to be extremely responsible. He has been always ensuring stability remains. Because without stability, not, look at Sudan today. Are you, who is going to be, where is the foreign direct investment coming to Sudan right now while all this is going on? The, as long as it's going on, if that war goes on for one year, they're not going to see any good foreign direct investment for the for four years after that war. They're not going to see it. So can you imagine if you go on for 10 years, they're not going to see any foreign direct investment for five, 10 years after that period. That is how damage and instability damages a people. And this is why whatever happens, I think Peter B has done a lot of good. He's already done a lot of good service for Nigeria. Can you imagine in this election cycle if Peter B wasn't even there at all? Hey God, we'll be stuck with Atiku, uh, Kwakwaso, <laughs> and uh, this mm -hmm. Hey God, Nigerians will be like, just give me transformer. Let this it should be at my misery. There is no point. That is the situation people were facing. So I actually think Nigeria owes Peter B a debt of gratitude. That people that actually want it had somebody to rally around, and they have done so well. So let's hope that this court case doesn't end up the way Babangida left uh, this in Nigeria. Because these people, you can't trust them. Maybe that's why they are going to, they are traveling overseas right now. They are thinking, ah, this country is about to get its act together. Oh, let's find a way. Oh. Let's do something to d throw them off course. Believe me, these things are not, it's not easy for me to say them, but I can't trust these people. And that's why Nigerians should never fall for any trap they, they set for us. We should never fall for it. They want, if this will try to destabilize us, we should not fall for it. Because when you fall for it, then you're giving them what they want. In other words, we will not develop. And if we don't develop, suffer head continues. That is the, 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 the economy of the situation. Pardon?
why are you talking like me today? Is it because you have the other face in your uh, the other face in your background? You're not, you're not speaking my mind, talking like me today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking like you now. I don't know, man. I just some of all these things uh, that happened before in the, this. It just reminds me of how nations are destabilized, mm -hmm. and they always attribute it to groups of people, so that because when you can divide people, it's easy to control them. You're very yeah, right. When you can divide, it's very, very easy to control them. That, that is what happens. And we cannot allow this to carry on because they, they, that is our enemy. Mm -hmm. They are our, our mortal enemy and they are making uh, the entire black continent weak. Weak, yes. yes. This is why North Africa is messing about with us. Look at yes. the, the, the war that was going on in Sudan and Nigerians wanted to go to Ethiopia. They, they go and block us there. Uh, we want to go to Egypt. They go and block us. They're asking us for visa. These are supposed to be African countries. Ethiopia last year was at war. Our passenger led a team that helped them reach a peace deal between the Ethiopian government and the Tigray region. Yes. In Ethiopia. They were calling out for oh, one Africa, then one Africa, then one Africa. Then suddenly a war happens in Sudan. Nigerians want to escape through your country. You block them and start asking them for visa. You see how our people in Africa here, the kind of nonsense we do. Ask yourself, why are African leaders even putting trade barriers between nations in Africa? Why should we not be able to trade within African countries? Why is Nigeria not able to trade directly with Kenya that, and that, other countries in Africa? That will I, I think, I think, I think, they are, they are, they are, I think the reason why they are doing that, they are trying to help us Nigerians to sit up. No, no. <laughs> oh, God. No, the, reason yeah. why, the reason why those trade barriers are there it because that colonial masters have about seventy-five to eighty percent of the See, colonial powers. Call them Europe, can, is, is it possible to call them Europeans or they, they are not masters? They don't call themselves masters. You know, anymore. you know, they cannot do that to any, they cannot do that to any country in the Western world, right? No, they can't do that. They, they can't. They can't many, try that. Oh, many, they welcome there Europeans. Many, there are many countries in Africa. They can't try that with them. You know that, right? Name one. Ah, like for instance, if it happens to. Egypt. That's a lie. Ethiopians cannot try it. You know, why, right? Why not? Why not? See, let me be honest. No, with you, you can't try it with Egypt, though. Let me be honest with you. They are trying to help us. They are pushing us. All this uh, nonsense we are taking from different countries of the world, they are pushing the Nigerian citizens. They want us to stand up to fight for our rights. If so we don't stand by up, discriminating against us, you get us to stand up for our rights. Is that the idea? Yeah, they are telling us that we will continue to receive water, water since you don't want to stand up for ourselves. And maybe in we our should country, have let them country. carry on with the civil war now because they don't <laughs> to teach them a lesson. Okay, <laughs> I want to ask you for a question now. Did you not discriminate against Ghana when you sent Ghana packing? See, but well, it wasn't a, 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 in a because, war, because, and when we're doing it against Ghana, it was... answer the question. Did you not do it? No, no, it was Listen, yes, we did that, know, but it was a retaliation. Do you know that? Do you know that, but, do you know, but do you know that Ghana did it first but, before but we did our own? Party, yeah, they did know, it right? to us first. It okay. was a retaliation. Ghana did, their, did Ghana did their own first before we send them back. Yeah, it's a retaliation. And it's it's, it's not know? right that we did that. Even it is not. It's, I'm not trying. Yeah, to say it's, it's not right. right. It's wrong. We shouldn't be doing all these silly things because, and we are the ones that I don't know how, how many European countries even expel each other like this. You know, look at this war in Ukraine. Ukrainians will be able to go into you know, Poland, all the other countries around them without any issues. But African countries, you just see them start blocking want, each other. I, sorry, too, Nigeria. I want to state it here. Nigerians did not did not send um, uh, Ghanaians, back, Ghanaians back to their country. It was the military um, administration that sent them back. Because if it was Nigeria that sent them back, this is something that you're supposed to debate in the Senate. It was not debated. What year was this again? It was Shagari. It was Shagari. Uh, it was Shagari time now. Oh, it was Shagari time. Yeah, yeah Shagari was yeah. very much in office when they when they did these things, and it was because of uh, I think Nigeria did it as a result of retaliation, which they shouldn't have done. Ghanaians and uh, they too did, did this type of stuff, and they, they always looked down on Nigerians during that period anyway. And if you look at even in just recently. What they are doing to Nigerians in uh, Ghana, you can see that some African countries they still haven't learned their lesson that we are not each other's problems. You know, there is Mayotte the other day, just yesterday, we we're talking about Mayotte, an island next to uh, an African nation that is still part of France. They were calling French soldiers to come and kick other fellow Africans out of their country. And they, they they claim to be part of France, they are just as poor as many African countries too. 
So <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. Africa, Africa's not, we don't get it, man. You can belong to France, but you are not going to be like them. France, yeah. You're not gonna they will leave you poor still. That if, if you compare France that Mayotte is an island that is supposed to be part of France to the way the French live, or even if the, the Quebec part of uh, Cuba and uh, no no Canada, how they live, because those are French too, they live very, very well. All any anywhere white people live, they live very well. But as long as it's black person, even if you're part of France, you are gonna live poor. Forget it. And if if these people went and called French soldiers and police officers to come and kick fellow black people out of their country so that yeah. the French people can get to Niger, yes, I don't get it, man. True Niger, to to Niger yeah. you should remember one factor that played a role in that product and trouble. It was a uh, racial discrimination that played a very big role in Which that one? struggle. There, that one you're just talking about. Right? It was a rich, yeah, my yacht. It was a very sharp discrimination that played a role. So they, they, they were so rich, they are racism over there. They, they, they don't believe that they are black, they are African. They don't believe it. What do they believe then? Because if you see they them, believe they, that, <laughs> they believe, you know, they are darker than Ibo Bado. They are darker than you, actually. They're, they're not a believer. I'm going to tell you, see, look at Israel now. Israel has white and black. black mm. they, they don't believe that the black are part of Israel. Yeah, mostly the Ethiopians. Everybody the, 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 the black the black Israeli in the parliament in the I, parliament I, I, that's what happens now when Nigeria is misbehaving now there are consequences you see the Asians they have China the Indians have India the, even Middle Eastern people have Israel the Europeans have NATO what do black people have we have Nigeria so, so, what did you expect so, that so, that so, so, don't want to unite we have a good no, well, we are Yeah. Years ago, years ago, when I was still single, eh? You go chase Ethiopian and go tell you Koro Koro, say they no want you. Yeah. Now your own fellow African, instead of them to befriend you, they rather go for Akata than you. Exactly. They go tell you say they are they are superior. You know that Ethiopia is superior than Nigeria. Another African country. Yeah, M many of them are bred it's, with uh, the Arabs. And you go, and, uh, you go see them, they go there with a cutaway, go they rub their mouth for grand. You go even they pity them, but yeah. there's nothing you can do. They are willing to accept them. I think when you talk to them even more, then you start finding out that Ethiopia you know, is they, having they, that covenant because of uh, a Salasia. That's why they're having that crap. You see, the Jamaicans, uh, you see what happened was that uh, the Jamaicans, they didn't, uh, you know, they, they, they don't have access to Nigeria in the, mm -hmm. those days or Africa. So the only person they knew because uh, El Salasia was able to go to Europe because they were still, they were a Christian nation, they were not colonized. So he was able to go to Europe. So they, when they saw him, they, they, they used El Salasia as a connection to the continent. And, yeah, uh, this yeah, is, yeah. They, 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 it's a, like a conduit. And it's a shame because. Ethiopia is the home of uh, the African Union headquarters. And yes. look at what they were doing to other African, like Nigerians. They refused to allow Nigerians into their country. I was really miffed by that. And this kind of stuff that forces people to ask serious questions about honesty. You know, when I was saying that we in uh, Nigeria, we talk with, uh, you know, hypocrisy in, in us is, is, is unbelievable. We talk with double face all the time we talk with one then go and do something else and this is going on on the continent a lot too we need to really get our acts together and i think first we have to start with our country isn't it this is our yeah home. yeah we have yeah. to start building and once we get our act right all the others they will straighten their act very very they will straighten their act if we get it right in nigeria we'll get it right all over the world believe me yeah it's gonna affect it's good even african americans are saying they are looking at nigeria do you know how many of them have uh, Nigeria heritage? Do you know one thing? <laughs> Do you know what? Let me tell you one thing. Do you know what is happening now? Eh? African Americans, they might they are migrating to Ghana yeah. and South Africa now. Yeah, yeah. Ghana, South Africa, yeah. they're also going to uh, Kenya, uh, Tanzania, Kenya, yeah. Tanzania, that's oh, they are more in Ghana now because they can find their roots and they have a an history of how the slave trade done in the, the Trans-Sahara trade trade was done to Ghana. And we cannot yeah. even package our own uh, uh, When we have Jagaban there, Jagaban, where is his name? We cannot even package our own. Even, the Tinubu name is, the Tinubu name is known for slave trade. 
you how are they supposed to where did you start from when the Tinubu name is known for slave trade you will be you will be niger what you you want go what you want go find for niger Nigeria, the, Nigeria, 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 uh, Nigeria, 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 to come and live in, in that same country where you don't want to live. Exactly. That's, Nigeria, that's why we are talking now. That's why we are trying to talk and you know, put out a, 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 a solution and help our people back if, home. If, if someone like Peter Obi was in office, I can assure you that kind of movement will happen because yes. Nigeria, if Nigeria becomes more secure, oh my God. The Nigerians alone that will come back to Nigeria, the numbers. In okay. America, we are about 2 million. I can't believe they have 2 million Nigerians in America. And those more are the ones that choose to identify as more Nigerians. Than two, what are you saying, sir? Exactly, that's two what you're saying. Now. It's more than that's two million That's a lot of million. Nigerians. It's more than that. Yeah. 2 million, you are counting, you are counting about, maybe like about, about 4 or 5 states. And you are just they're counting. Born. They're not born. They're never born. <laughs> we we never, have, can, we never count have, our children. If you have to be Nigerian, I don't know Nigerian. We never count our children. We are just talking about we, the first, we, the, we yeah. the first wow. people that came in. So when you count about two million, you're talking about, about, about five to six states. About five if, to six if, states. If, if only them start coming back alone, you are you are going to see yes. a transformation yes. in yes. that, in that, in that about country. About children. About our children. Some of us are having grandchildren here. You know, Nigerian heritage. We have here. generals. We have generals. Top. Yeah. Yes, of officers. course. Nigerians. Yes, we have, so, we have to get yeah. the right facts about Nigerians in America because that's saying two, two million. Two million is just an um, understatement, honestly. Very understatement. understatement now. Yeah, because I'm sure, I'm sure, because many of our Nigerians, when they have children, their children have U.S. passports, so they don't even care about declaring them as Nigerians. Yeah. So and that, these are the just two million of the ones yeah, that the ones are the first Nigerians. They stop, they stop these are official a Nigerian, a Nigerian general, the first ever America that is a general, two-star general, is a Nigerian. Yeah, now. They, they they gave her that rank. I think it was two years ago. More than more than that. So during time of Obama, one the uh, one so also having one army too. That was about three stars. Yeah, generation. that's an Igbo girl from Igbo uh, whatever. Yeah, this, Anambra yeah, this, State. Yeah, this one's an Isha man. This one's an Isha man. Even his wife was my was my primary school and my my primary school classmate. You know. Yeah. This is man, why yeah. we need to get our act together now. You see. The thing about Nigeria is that uh, it's like this um, kind of company that you have that has so much potential to make a lot of business and make profit. But the people don't know that. And the people that know that are overseas. And um, we we need to tap, if we, if we tap into the Nigeria's potential, it's all, it's just, it's, it's mind boggling. I can't even start calculating it. My because brother, the influence Nigeria has in Africa, you guys can't, don't even know how far it goes. It, it travels from the continent to the US. Nigeria's potential right now is still virgin. A lot of potential in Nigeria is still virgin that, that they have not even touched. You know, sometimes, sometimes I try to hold classes with a lot of young Nigerians through, through the Zoom on the line to let them know that what is in their front you know that they are, that they are missing but you know that about 85 of them don't want to hear that they want now money now all money, they want to do money. is just jackpot or money that's it give me money or jackpot to niger you see I, I, there, there was a day I, I sat down i was thinking over it and i went through all the the, the, the american military um, sector i now saw a lot of nigerians there and there is no any African country that that produce a general American mm. military. None. Only Nigeria is opportune to produce a general. Yes, now. Now. Nigeria is very a big plus. I, I think, I think Nigeria. The, the, this may, some people argue that the, the, this may be because Nigeria, the best minds in Nigeria actually leave Nigeria, but it's not necessarily the case in many other African countries. Uh, yes. Because you, so the best minds in Nigeria are out of Nigeria, like it will, because the ones that make it out of Nigeria often are the cre most creative ones, the, the brilliant minds, and this is why when they go overseas, they they outperform almost any group. That they are the highest performing, even in the, the American yeah. uh, this thing. So it tells you that Nigerians have all the capacity and everything that they need to fix their country. We just need to turn you, the tide. You go class. You go go class now. Yeah, the way I see. Last question. 
the way I see it, I don't really think it's, I don't really think it's the best hands or the best minds. That Nigerians are very productive people. The only point is that the only uh, reason why we are not is not showing in Nigeria because they are not given the chance to to, to bring in their input. You know? that and that's is. why they leave because yeah, the environment is so hostile. Exactly. Yeah, and one, one other thing, let me add this. One other thing that practices you see in Nigeria that is also devastating, not only the corrupt practices alone, like very, very uh, disruptive, disruptive and shock to businesses that uh, Nigerian establishment tend to do is, like recently in the Nigerian, uh, this in, in Lagos airport, these agents that are clearing goods, they said the authorities increased uh, the, the, the charges that they charge them by 100% overnight. Yeah, yeah, the answer you know? they did it now. It's like, work. it's like, why would you do that? You are trying to kill Nigeria or what? You want to kill they businesses? Want, they don't want to make uh, Southwest develop again. They want to make so that we can be at the, the same level with them. So we have gone too far from them. They don't, they don't travel now. So that, that, that technology is residing in the Southwest, South as a whole. There, there is what we call, they want to stop the technological growth and development of the South Zone. That is what is happening. But but okay, okay. Well, how do you side. explain this one? How do you explain this one? Another one was at University of Benin. When I went there uh, some years ago, I, the students were not there. That was December. I thought, okay, oh, they went for holidays. They said, no, no, no. They left early. Why? Because they increased the, the, this in the rent that they were paying there for, with, for by about over 50 to 70 percent that they increased it. That the students now, they, they don't know how they are going to get back to school next time. They, they have to go home for Christmas to go and tell their parents that the fees has increased by 70 something percent. This is kind of disruptive behavior our leadership does to our people. I don't understand the kind of mentality but, that does that. But do you know that this does not happen in the north at all? Uh, why, that, no. why are we practicing like that? Why are we doing that to because, our people? Because they are your vice chancellor. They are your chancellor. They put the Nottam as a chancellor for Southwest and carry the Nottam as a chancellor in the North. It's not doing. necessarily that way. It's no. not fair because to say that. It's not necessarily that way. It's our governors. It's our people that are doing it. Are Those people, I didn't see one Northerner there. They okay, are all Southerners that did it. Okay, let's assume in their all, all, all Nigerian politicians, they don't see Nigeria as a productive ground. They see Nigeria as a harvesting ground where they steal money and go yeah, and You are very right. In other countries. You are right there now. We all know. Yeah. They, they, they just like to shock people. Look at the way they change it in the, the, the Naira too. Shock, 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 shock. Something they can just do it properly, organize something and get it done. It's not that hard. They know how this is are done. But no, they will just have to shock Nigerians and make life difficult for Nigerians. These yeah, people, yeah. Eh, they, they really they deserve a serious question, you know. This is kind of stuff that leads people to take drastic action in other countries. These, yeah, these leaders, they are yeah. very, very mean-spirited people sometimes. Yeah, do you know what they deserve? You will flog them with barbed wire. That's what yeah, it is. Take, take a look at the <laughs> deal that was signed. You like electricity. To electricity. To let, let me let me surprise let me surprise you guys. You know, yesterday I think it was yesterday. Uh, uh, Falana was talking, and the next thing he was gonna talk about is that um, you know he was talking about the dollarization of uh, you know uh, Nigeria, whatever it is, and then he said that as for him, that he's supporting Nigeria to join uh, Brazics. Brazil is a uh, Brazil, Russia, China, uh, 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 you know, and all that stuff. Yeah. That, that man, uh, that man don't know what they talk. You know, and then that uh, that people buying our oil should buy it in Naira. And I was like, does this man know what he's talking about? He doesn't know what he's saying. He's just talking. So about who, 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 who is who is who wants our is oil it, now? Is exactly. You see, eh? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes <laughs> when you see, you see. Let me let let me put it this way. I'm not trying to sort of you know be little or patronize anybody. Where, where you go first? Where you go? And I go, me, you go sleep. You go take it you you now. No, I don't take nap. I day here and I just close. <laughs> so what <laughs> I want to be say, what, what I want to be say, you know all these people where they're Niger, mm. where they are they there, they, they, their attitude, their reasoning. You know, supposing somebody don't say you do do you only do school sat in Nigeria. But you lived abroad for 10, 15 years, they pay bills, they pay fine, they pay different types of things. Listen, you are much more enlightened about 
global politics if you are taking interest than them or than them in nigeria what is Very well. the, what is what is making um, uh, what is it called Falano think that oil politics was in the eighty? You can but Nigeria the way we are now. Even if you apply to join that thing, they feel no take you. Because you because there's a level you will attain. Yeah. Mind you, Brazil, China, India, South Africa yeah. and uh, these are developed Greece. countries. Russia. Exactly. Russia. Uh, 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 Russia. So yeah. so okay, okay, look at the stability across all these countries. You don't just bandy your population that you feel. What Nigeria should be, like Afri Afrocentric uh, foreign policy, let us organize, when people be coming, well, organize the country, organ start from the, organize the country first. Start from our defense uh, mechanism, economy. Battle these two things in Paripasu. When you are doing it, African countries are looking at you. Some of them, they are ahead of us now in terms of, uh, um, I mean, let me say advancement a little bit. So yeah. when you are bringing up our some country, of them, all of them. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. Some of them, so, not be all sure of them. Go, so, go, Kenya. So, so this, uh, this, uh, what is it called? Brazil, South Africa. Leave all those ones. For just as if they know they organize yourself first. When you are now picking up, because the advantage Nigeria is having is we have talent. And they are yes. all over the world. That yes. is the fault. That is, that's why when they talk of you know this Indonesia we're looking. Any country you see that turned around, that could be difficulty or the, but Nigeria or we just like mm, if the leadership wow. they there we have confidence, leave everything for us. We'll Nigerians Nigerians Nigeria within five, ten years, people go say they're marvel. They can't believe it. And when it starts, it starts. Uh, well, well that be just put it that way. So, so, but trying to stay in a, maybe one type of arise news, the talk say we use all, what is Falana talking about? Don't mind Ghana, him. He has never practicalized anything in his life Ghana, before. Don't mind Ghana. Him. Ghana is having oil. Um, what is the, so many countries now, even fracking there, so many alternatives to crude oil. Okay, they are now manufacturing oh. uh, electric cars. Which we which which will be rolled out in the next, let's say, at most ten years, if at all it go reach. No, so it, all these things. Is, uh -huh. okay. So so all these things is saying when people like this talk, then you now start to wonder what where which world are they existing into? How can you be talking? <laughs> how can you be talking of Nigeria? Not? What you should be talking about Nigeria is put a good put a leader that is committed, so that Nigerians are abroad. Sees that a leadership back home is committed, leave the rest to Nigerians. Leave, the leave rest. it. Yeah. Leave the rest to them because before you know it, people will just be coming with all this idea. You know, Oibo, China is taking over like in Nigeria, all this thing they are talking because Nigerians are leaving. If our leadership, if the, look, do you know that if really our leader they are committed, before you come into the country. Anything you are doing, they will tell you this is the amount of uh, this is the employment rate they want for you. Condition, they will give you condition. Ah, that is the that, that is the interest you have now as a contrast, a president who when they are coming, he say, look, you make it a law that okay, yeah, this is this is this is the this is the employment we want. This is the one uh, Nigerian content of everything. Any Nigerian content must be the, everything. By the time you are doing it this way now. You are opening up. You are opening up your country. Foreign investment is coming. Your people are gaining from it, skill wise. Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, the way they say they transfer money, all these things. So, but when you see, see that thing that uh, the world owe you a living, as if uh, during the seventies they are fighting Arab Israeli war, the whole Arabs stopped selling yeah. oil. Then yeah. America came. America came begging for Nigeria. That was when Abbasanjo. Well, that was when Qatar came to Nigeria. America came begging because oil. The America needed oil. Then all these things hasn't been there. So Abbasanjo used that idea then to shine. Then uh, Dubai. We pay Dubai salary like they said two years. Dubai, oh, where you see. So all those times, like, that was just <laughs> eh, hey, man. nonsense. Eh, you know, yeah. So all those things. Maybe Falana feel that. Nigeria is strategically irrelevant in world affair for now until we wake up. Because the moment we wake up, the world we know. Instantly, it will just be like that night where Nigeria beat Brazil for Olympics. Uh, uh, it's uh, yes, Do you please. know that a boy of 26 years old uh -huh. what car? 
Sorry, I didn't hear. I didn't hear the last. Oh, a graduate, a graduate of twenty six years old. Yeah. Use a sport car model. Fiber. Yeah, University well, ABU. Now, the Nigerian no, government just closed door. The next one, a boy that a boy graduate produced electric car. It in, See, in North now. Yeah. So, so we government know draw rise up to, to help that boy. We know we know in, something. In, in we, in that state. What we about a couple, couple of years ago? We, we have a, a guy that is a secondary school dropout. It was making a toy toy plane and toy helicopter flying everywhere. You know? No, the, the the ingenuity of Nigeria is uh, is unsurpassed. Oh, that is Nigeria. that is even why Niger the world have a lot, despite all the crime they associate with Nigerians all over the world, all this looting, 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 and everything, is because they feel that these people, if they are in your economy, like in Europe, they are contributing. Go to Germany, go to the US, UK here, Nigerians are. So when they look at it, they find out that all it takes is for these people to get their acts together. They will explode. So we all know that. That's why when I was telling people, I said, look, given our experience, uh, lead, the leadership with the experience of our leadership, say, since uh, the past 30, 40 years, it has always been looting. So Nigeria is bleeding. Whoever goes in will just be looting. If it will be goes in and is not interested in looting, building houses, or all these mansions, that is their plus. And then he now puts his eye, like he said, he said, I will approve what you are going to steal. So if I did not put it in the body distance now, how would they be doing? So there are some soft, soft infrastructure that will be in place, a change of attitude of the people, so that they will now realize that these things we are doing, we are doing ourselves. Attend the issue of power, look at our insecurity, and then the economy will start to pick up. Leave the rest of Nigerians. Even the world, will get, they will be coming. Eventually, they will like to, because one, the manpower is there, the labor might not might be cheap at the initial stage, but as we are going on, I don't really think Nigeria will rely so much on foreign investment. Nigerians, in, Nigerians themselves are broad. We'll be good investors. We have to kickstart the economy, and that is how it should be. But because of the fact that our leaders are, or the, we've been having a hopeless leader, so when they come in, you talk of a medical treatment abroad. If a country you, you, cannot treat... You had, you, you had about what this guy complained about now. About, you know, when some people build sports cars, they ignore them. Uh, I've seen a case where they did a competition in Nigeria for um, UAVs. And the competition went very well. Nigerians were, you know, they were passionate. You, you can see how they want to contribute. And they want to do this stuff. And the next year, they kill the competition. So it doesn't happen again. And it, it's as if these are our leaders. They are not there. To, to develop the country, they are there no, to no, prevent no. development of the country. No, to lose, to lose, uh, the the, to the, the lose. ones that are there, their job is to ensure the country is strong enough not to completely uh, this thing collapse, but weak enough to they keep the country. I mean, they, they keep the country weak enough not to collapse. But because if it collapses, everybody loses. The Europeans cannot uh, listen. But at the same time, our strength they don't let us become too strong too. So they prevent development because if you look at their approach, they are always doing this anemically. They they always try to pretend as if they are moving. Our look at our life expectancy. There's no way this leader don't know what is going on with that. They know. Mm -hmm. They hey, don't. Hey, they, they are they are deliberately keeping us. They, they they call them like gatekeepers. They they pretend yeah. as if they want to do the right thing, but they are not. Some of them even say the right words, like the Ghanaian president. Like, he will say the right words. Like this is a guy that literally was it this year, early this year, he literally was saying, "Oh, we shouldn't be have to be relying on foreigners for for money anymore." At that same conference, he was asking for IMF loan. You can't make it up. And when you look, when you hear what um, uh, 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 that lady that used to work for the um, African Union said uh, Dr. Arikana, okay. when she Arikana. said that her position, when she took it up, they told her that they don't expect anything from her. What that means is that you don't have to do anything. Just pretend as if you're working. And that kind of stuff puts, yeah, it gives me serious trust issues of our leaders. That these people are just taking us for a ride. They will pretend as no. if they are doing something. They are not doing anything concrete. If a leader wants to do something concrete in the context of Nigeria, you will notice it very quickly. Like that El, El, El Salvador leader. 
or Lin Kuan Yew, uh, uh, all those are, when uh, they come into office, uh, you will notice that they are trying to do the right thing. And they do it now. And then they, they say get it change over. And even it's then, they do, not have the, they do not have the talent Nigeria has. That is, that is the advantage. That is the advantage. You do not, you count, you count the top scientists probably anywhere you go, engineers, anything, in, anywhere Nigeria are there contributing. But until, we, until our leaders realize that, look, this country, this is what we need to do. That's why, I, for, for once, I tend not to believe that the, the Western world, mm, they are really the people holding us not to develop. Mm -mm. I don't really think so. Because I don't think if we launch a power revolution, if we, if we launch a power revolution, that America or Britain will conspire and say we don't. No, 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 it no, won't. They, they are. It, uh, it will, actually. Let me it they will. Yeah. Yeah. There are yeah. examples yeah. in yeah. Africa yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Let me but, but, they, are, they are not. They are not. They will. They will. If you look at the way yeah. uh, this in the uh, Kenyan president is sounding yeah. these days, the and talking about I how African leaders need to get yeah. their act together, they are already threatening him. You remember immediately at that 4 a.m. when the INEC president or the INEC chairman announced that result that, that Tunubu is the winner of uh, the election. Instantly, the 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 the, the, Airbus, the uh, British embassy uh, consulate in Nigeria congratulated Tunubu, and when yeah. she had when she has a journalist from from England. That they were all over Nigeria monitoring that election, and they know for sure that that, that mandate is wrong, that pronunciation is wrong, that that guy did not win anything. You know, because because this is what they have ever planned for. But but but, but uh, you see, one thing I want to tell you see that is I know they will still play politics, but I do not think. That if okay, for instance, Obasan just said a sixteen billion dollar for power generation, mm. the, the money died. Is it the waste that said don't give your people electricity? You know what I'm saying is there are there are certain things. You know, there, you know, there, you know what? There, it's that money in Nigeria. The guy that stole that money took that money out of Nigeria. He took that money to a for a foreign a foreign country exactly. and found that money. So if it, you hold on a second, Mister Mister Cien, if you as a person, Mister Cien. You take we take hundred thousand hundred thousand pounds to any bank in London or in England there to bank. And first of all, they will call it up on you. You have to tell them where you get that money from and how uh, you get uh, that money. You have to provide your papers. So okay, but you but why why must you take it in the first place? That is the patriotism I'm talking about, and that is what runs between the El Salvador chap we mentioned now and Lee Kuan Yew is because of the you, love they have. Yeah, so yeah, but, but the El Salvador yeah, guy, it's because they are but I, 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 I send the link to you, um, uh, CM. You saw the link in the private chat. The El Salvador guy, did somebody created the environment for him to be able to do that. Yeah. Because if he didn't have that security, secure environment, he wouldn't be able to do that. And the, the context is that if your leaders are too weak, what is going to happen is that they have control over them. This is not even hidden anymore. They, they, no, we all know now they are behind the assassination of uh, um, Mutala Mohammed. We know they are behind the assassination of um, uh, Lumumba. We, are, we know they are behind the removal of uh, Kwame Nkrumah. All the leaders that want to develop Africa, they remove them. They remove them. They, even Sankara, they, 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 they don't even hide it anymore. Even Mama Gaddafi, if, it, if they cannot remove it, they'll kill you. Yeah, but Mama Gaddafi has, has has already achieved a lot, man. His, mm. his own might be because uh, maybe they play, they feel is uh, I don't know. I know it's not. It's not that I have no proof. He so they, say, they, they, say, they say they say he he he's, he's, they say he's sponsoring terrorism, which I don't have any proof. But in terms of making his country secure and yeah. then develop advance, I mean, you can beat he, Libya, he man. Something oh. there. He accomplished something. But that, but that. was saying something. Let me just add this one. When Kagame was saying that, that all they had to do was say that they don't want to receive fairly used clothes from America anymore, and America put sanctions on them. That's fairly used clothes. They say they don't want it from America anymore. They put sanctions on them. Tell me if that is not forcing African leaders to do what they don't want to do. Yes, and that fairly used clothes is not free. Our people are buying it from them. 
shipping it, yeah. you will pay for shipping in America and shipping it to Africa. We, we you understand to. me? So it's, it's business. To. It's not the, so the, prob the problem I have with Gaddafi is that he never kind of like tutored or mentored someone else. You understand what I mean? It was just him and his yes. family. Yes, him and his family. Yeah. That's selfish. You know, at least he should have had somebody that even when they take him out, the person will spring up. He because the problem they have now, in the You know, the now. The problem is, around him too much. You know, that guy out was not even because of uh, that. That guy was trying to. That guy was trying to use his money to create stability in Africa. Yeah, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, don't say that. Remember when no, no, he no, came no, to Nigeria? Remember when he when, remember when he came to Nigeria? When he when they appeared to Nigeria, you understand? They came. I think they came in a submarine and all that stuff. You know, to me, it's not about developing Africa. But at no, the end no, of the no, day, no, 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 it is so it is it is because do you know what happened in 2002 when Mugabe was finding it difficult with all these white farmers? Gaddafi was on the side of Mugabe. I know, Gaddafi but he created, was, but he created, the, he created the problem Gaddafi. himself because I didn't think they did not, they did not bomb that Panam, uh, Panam Air. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Sure? Are you yes. really sure? Uh, he was you know, you know, he, he sponsored that's what I'm he saying. He had, do you, think, do you know? I, 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 don't, I don't see why Gaddafi would do anything like that. Even. I, 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 I doubt it. I doubt it. You yeah. see, the he, thing is that the, th the thing is that international politics. The thing could be Gaddafi is not like if you want to have American interest in the Arab world, you are not in good terms with Israel. That is also an, an, a, an opportunity, I mean, a signal for America to keep an eye on you. Libya was, first of all, where I like Gaddafi was, he developed his country yeah. and showed love, love to his people. That is one. That is the beginning. Now, if you, if you, want if, if you, to, you to the rest of Africa. Yes, exactly. So, so, so now, so now, if you now want to sort of, you know, play the politics, at least he will want to expand in Africa. That's why was, in those days they say advancing what Niger, advising what Nigeria could do or nothing. He was also having interest in Mugabe, where Mugabe is, just to help. And Mugabe is an enemy of the British. So when you are playing in, I know in the traditional politics, unless he favors them, they will count you as a friend. But what I want is in everything, first of all, uplift your people first, because that is your primary. A, a job. Bring up your people, develop your country, put your defense system in order, at least so that you can say, I'm independent as a country, I can stand on my own. Now, if you now want to play the big boy politics, maybe you want your influence to throw your weight behind the maybe Somalia, throw your, but you have to know if you are throwing your weight behind Somalia, what is America's interest in Somalia? Nothing. Where well, you can go on. Hey, what is British interest? What is Russia? So they are nothing. So you can be doing it. But if you leave your country as a palace like the Nigeria are, you are vulnerable to anything because your citizens cannot even understand you. You know that in Libyans, they rallied around Muammar Gaddafi as a country. He doesn't have a position at home. So that might, that might mean why they may say, He's, uh, he's he he was quite a leader for a long time, but because he hasn't got that opposition, the people are comfortable with him. They see the reason why they should believe in their country. So this is where this is this should be any leader's starting point. Develop your country, secure your country. Well, then you can then please, you can then think of the type yeah, of politics you want to I, play. Yes, I, I agree with you that we yes. are ultimately responsible. And yes. I don't think Europeans are being are evil for doing what they are. They are doing what they are supposed to do for their people. Yes. They love their people more than they care for our own interests. Uh, yeah, of so course. that's what they are. That's their primary. They are meant to do that. But yes. from our point of view, we have to see from the point of view that okay, yes, for us to be ultimately responsible, you have to push back against their interest because sometimes yes. our interest is conflicting with their own interest yes. and this is why that that's why when people when someone like me call them out that is the context i'm calling them out i'm not calling them out because they are evil they are doing what they are supposed to do if i was on yes. their side i would be doing exactly what they are doing exactly, yeah. <laughs> you see what yes. i mean 
so it's true, yeah. that, that is the context I'm calling it out. And don't see that mm-hmm. like I don't think this is a is either or both of them are true. We have mm-hmm. people that want to undermine us, and it's also still our responsibility to thwart them from doing it's that. True. And we haven't it's done true. it yet. It's true. And only it's a, that, it, the only the only product that they can use to perpetrate their their way is a corrupt still us. leaders. Mm-hmm. Corrupt it's, leaders. It's so, still, so if people still, like Tinubu has that opportunity no, to Tinubu, call me. No. Tinubu is no 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 Tinubu is compromised already because that that is that is drug you know they are preparing for it so so that is so that that is you that Tinubu is compromised already can you imagine when plant something is to Tinubu's body they can plant it anywhere the rate that that guy goes there to sleep so 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 you see that's what I say he's compromised already because okay let's say he's even healthy there's no meta issue okay. The fact that he has a drug deal, all these things. You know, eh? The thing is, that alone is a shame. What if he goes for a UN meeting and lands in the United States and something somehow? You know, this international they can because he hasn't got any any ground, any moral this thing to stand up and then say, look, America okay, just like uh, we said that uh, what is it, what is the name? The Salvador man said, uh, mm-hmm. please keep off, keep off. I want to build my you know, all those type of not really you have to stay then keep off, but from your attitude, they know that you are you are much more concentrated inside to see what you can do to your people. Tinubu as a person cannot even I mean he can't or maybe he will distribute question again, but he he cannot really sort of articulate a position and say, look, I want to be patriotic, I want to face Nigeria. Maybe if America is trying to sign this, country, say, no, 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 you have to sign it under our terms. You know, that type of thing, he's compromised. So he if, cannot be if there. And then, way, I always share, no, I will man, that, um, even at the age of even at the age of 90, still looking yes, for call, call. Yes. So so all those all those things. So as a leader, you don't bring such people. El Salvador now, if you studied, I've not, but this will make me to go and read something about the chap or yeah. written. Such people, because when they come in, you have to look at yourself first, and then you want to make sure your country is good. That is the thing. If you are doing, that's what I'm saying. It, there's a limit that America could frustrate us to develop our place in terms of infrastructure, road, uh, dam, for agriculture, all those things. There's a limit they can frustrate if at all. Unless maybe they bidded for a contract you didn't give them, or they bidded for this or that. But even if they are bidding for contract, if you are the leader and you are not interested in, call, in the, taking a court, you do it openly. Of course, let them build, get their money, you pay them, they go away. All you know is that ultimately, the standard of living, the life expectancy of your people, you are now raising it, which is good. If you raise it to the level Libya is, I mean, with what uh, Gaddafi did to Libya, the only thing left for him is to play, to play, uh, uh, to get into world politics the way he want, the way he understands it. If he want to control the whole of Africa, assert his influence through OA, I mean, AU better, or he feels that in trying to do it, you know there are some strategic countries America may have in Africa, so do not go there unless you are going there as an ally of America to help in doing that thing. You will be on their good book. Otherwise, but then now you have to tidy your, ro- your room, I mean your place, yeah. before you come outside to play politics. So Nigeria hasn't done that. But, but That's why you... our case is our yeah. case is a basket case. So until we are articulate sort of Make sure that the real bread and butter issue, we've overcome it. And the advantage I keep saying we have is that in our own case, because we have talent in everything, that is even why the world, the way they may approach Libya or maybe any other country, they will say Nigeria, they've got a lot of talents and they are developing. They have the manpower. We might not really need foreign labor because we are there. We just keep flying at least so even if we can't do anything let us be the god of other african countries so that they dream of coming to nigeria forget about you can be like germany withdraw from international politics concentrate on your technology and your germany is not germany is not uh, apart from if not for eu germany is not really a word in when you mention world politics like you say for france after france has a permanent permanent seat at the un so france china britain but germany is the economic powerhouse so all what they can play in politics they use the economy to dominate the world in terms of their products so that is also 
something that we can't wish away. But the way Nigeria is with our population, it's explosive. It's either we get it right or we explode. And when we explode now, nah, it won't work. The poverty is so much. That's why it, that is fueling crime. But, so but any, can, I, can I say something? Yes. No, Mr. CM, poverty mm -hmm. in Nigeria, huh? mm -hmm. 55% of them is caused by individuals. I would you say poverty. Nigeria, poverty. Yeah, a lot of our people cause poverty to themselves. You know, let me tell you something. Pover poverty you, without you, you infrastructure to that, one, that one I lie. That one I know believe I know believe for that one. That one is that one. No, not be lying. Make I tell you the reason. That one no enter house at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see somebody when they make 50k now a month, mm -hmm. 50,000 naira a month. We'll, we'll go and rent a house that will be paying five half a million naira to one million naira a year because that his friend or someone is someone that he knows living living in a house like that. So he want he wants to raise in in, in prestige to emulate or, or other people when he knows that at the end of the year he cannot afford it. You know that one is one and two. Some of them don't want to work. But they want to they want to leave. You know, back in the days when we were growing up, you either go to school or you learn a trade, or you learn it, or you learn or, or you learn work, or you be a farmer. In either yeah. way, you make a living. But the ones and, and you not can, and you not can, and you not can. The north, what of the northern part of the country? Is it by renting? Like from the first point, like the first point you make. You see yeah. the the poverty, the poverty the exactly. Like, like like Peter B said, the more you invest in the critical areas of the economy, which is education and health, the more you can have some semblance of uh, building human capacity mm. with which that to is, that develop. Is it. That is with, it. With, with which to develop. So, at, because I don't I don't usually make talk of defense because that is the primary duty of a government. Even if you build your defense, you still have to do all this. It's an ongoing thing anyway. To me, I've, I so argue that Nigerian defense, we can't put a number to it until we saturate and say we've gotten what we want to be able to stand. So you can't just yeah, say that, that's correct. You can you can't just say unlike other sort you may say this country is a two um, maybe one million they have fifty these people have this they, they, they it's like they're only they're not doing like addition the addition is talking for one million though. That's uh, no no I'm coming I no I'm coming so even the, because as you are building some will be getting old you are retiring so you continue balancing it until such a time that you feel that look with because it's an it's, it's an ongoing something until when you have it, so that whilst we are having it, you now say, yes, we've got it. So, and we have the, we have the, so that one is, I take it as giving, because that is, is Hi, I can't wait to see that day. I can't, that, that the day in Nigeria, people don't understand the momentous event that will mean. That is the first mm -hmm. time in the last 400 years that mm -hmm. our country, our, our region has decided to put its forces together to start organizing itself. Yeah, this is something exactly. that not Africans do easily. We haven't. No sub-Saharan African country has done this. Yeah, because probably, pro probably the North African, and let me tell you, something like Egypt. You know, eh, sometimes it takes it takes a turn, an event to mm. give to make a turning point. When the is um, Egypt used to have the highest military power, I mean air power in Africa, before they fought the the Jews in the nineteen seventy three. Is it 1967 to 90, yeah, 1967, that a young, so 1967 war. But Egypt was, they were decimated. After that, by the time they, and uh, once that came, they recovered their Sinai Peninsula, they made the sacred mission to Egypt, in which, I mean, to Israel, the Arabs felt he betrayed them. He said, but we have to make peace with Israel for us to live. Look at the Sinai, we are not cultivating agriculture, everything. So they made peace and then this. They now swore that Egypt, we rebuild, and they've re in terms of I think in Africa they should be the most secure country. Pro I, don't, I may be wrong, but I feel it should be Egypt. Though Egypt Gaddafi is, a, <laughs> Egypt yeah, is so, a police state, man. You can't so, step so, one street without being so, police. So, so, so you know what it means is that because something is a turning point. So that thing taught them a lesson.
because and then when you want to rebuild as you are rebuilding you rebuild based on your exigencies and what you need it's not just you can't put a figure to it because, because you might you you might see you might think that you are doing it well you have to do it first of all looking worse and say what what really do we need the leaders that rebuilt egypt were patriotic leaders of but course the leaders we have in nigeria are not patriotic you know, they we, are we have for their own pocket we haven't started now. We we haven't started. You know, you know, you know, you know. You take it like engineer can look at it this way. Hmm? When you are when you are working something like you are you are in the U.S., you are not thinking of getting a good house to live in U.S. What your interest is have to be taking money and be putting in Indonesia. That Indonesia you are putting is where your mind is. So when our leaders are building houses, going to Dubai to buy, they don't even recognize me. There is no, they, they don't even think of your country. What they are thinking of, okay, my kids, you go school there, I have a house there, every, I visit. So that Nigeria you are milking, your mind is not there. I can understand an individual like me or you doing it. It's, it's, Americans, an, an average American can decide to go and buy a house outside of America. It's a, it's a free citizen. But when a leader is doing it and looting for that matter and going for medical treatment for that matter, that's a risk. It's not, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be encouraged. If I to 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 egg, they they go overseas. They have headache. They have to go overseas. Every everything they are their back is aching. Then they have to go overseas. And and the sun state and the and the sun state money, not that it's a private money. It's a it's a it's on state account or Nigerian account. So when you have this type of situation, you find out that you know the thing is that sometimes. You can't really be challenged. You know, so, okay, now, now, now let's put it this way. What moral right or under what ground, what is the justification for something like uh, something to be happening in Nigeria We take, an, take a stand against the West? It's not, you can't now. You go to them for medical treatment. This is a private. This is your own private. Yes. So, you so, up your so, mouth, so you you go to them for private treatment. Uh -huh. now, now we don't know what you wanna discuss there. Then you call, you came back. Your house at is that level, there's it. nothing like private at that level. So, so they stopped yeah. going to Germany because they thought <laughs> even from Germany, Americans got a hold of his medical uh this record. That's why uh, no no was it Buhari or um, Yara Dua, Yara Dua, Yara Dua. Yeah, he stopped going to Germany. Because of that, so at that level, there is nothing like privacy. They exactly. have all the documents on you. Yeah, get it. All our leaders that are it going there, be. they have all the documents on them, from it CIA should, to should, MI5 to all yeah, the intelligence services. You should, it have should, it. It shouldn't be. And I don't. I don't think that's why sometimes I know that the West, of course, you know, if you are competing with somebody, if you hold a slave and they're serving you, you will never like a slave to get his freedom. No, 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 you no, can't. No, no, there was mm -hmm. one show I was watching about uh, four or five years ago. You know, they call it um, uh, exclusive uh, exclusive home in Beverly Hills. One Nigerian uh, man came. I've not heard about his name before, but he said that he's into oil and gas. This guy bought a house. He used my shop for $11 million cash. His agent uh, was running mad. He was a black guy. He was crazy, begging the seller to sell it. That in any money that he want, his client is ready to pay. When it was, they not ask where is the client from. Is it from LA? He said no. He says from Africa. What part? He say Nigeria. That I now I now have to increase the volume. <laughs> you know to hear it better. Oh, About no. a week later, this guy came to pay, and this guy loved the the antiques that they have in the house. He paid additional eight million again for the activity that he have in the house, making nineteen million dollars cash that he paid for, and he doesn't live in the U.S. Now, whenever he and his wife or kids come here for holiday, they will have a house to stay. So that means that house there is going to have a a, a, a cleaner helpers that will be helping it to clean the house, call the grasses. Those ones will be the one enjoying the house. You see these guys? Uh, it's, it's yeah. a, uh, the, uh, that is that is where that is where my grouse with them is. 
He said, that's where my grass with them is. Because when you, if you are a leader of your country, your private, what is it called, is it private, or your personal interest takes backstage. The chap in El Salvador is not doing it because he's favoring him. He just wants the country. He just yeah. loves to build, to build his, that is just yeah. the secret. It doesn't mean that he just wants to build his country. And he will be, and he's doing it. Yeah. So when do when you have a leader who is in Asso Rock, all he's interested is how do I? We are lacking behind. No electricity, no infrastructure. This or that. You should be in a hurry. When you are doing all these things, I don't really think the world may not take note. But as you're moving, developing your people, doing all these things, good at good at thing. You are having a country like Nigeria that has talents all over the world. They start triple coming home like the Chinese did or Japanese went abroad, get back home, and then look at where the Japanese are. Somebody told me there's a bank in London called Nomura. Nomura is a Japanese bank. They say the Japanese people working there are paid higher than the British. That is, is their bank. Yes, the Japanese people, they, well, Japanese are one of the, high, most, the highest paid okay. in the UK now, in terms okay. of okay. individually, their value okay. is very, very high. America, they have, they have Chinese banks all over. There was one building that I that I did in Flushing, mm -hmm. in, in, in New York, in Queens, Flushing. You know, it, the, the, the building was financed by by, by the Chinese uh, bank. So, so the, you know, the distance, the, 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 in, in Ken, why I mentioned this Nomura Bank is, to tell you the pride, the yes, Japanese so that that we left, he left J Japan, came to work in their bank in UK, and is paid higher than the British people doing the same yeah. job or something like in yes, their own bank. So yes, that is to, you see that is what they call national pride. Yes. That is the pride. It's yes. telling you that look, this is our country. You know they can do without you or something like that, and ten, they can ten, do it. Ten years ago in America, they recall back over. Over, over over thousands uh, thousands of Toyota, you know, they were having a crush problem. That okay, okay, back. yeah, yes, so they, I, I remember. Yeah, when I they remember. called him back, the CEO of Toyota in America, so they called him into the Senate. The Senate told the Senate told, told him that any every Toyota product that has that problem, they should go to any Toyota location to fix it for free. So the man says that he has no power. To do that, mm -hmm. except exactly. except the overall CEO of Toyota in Japan has to come to America to come and to, to come and honor this invitation that this this demand is bigger than him. You know, then then the Senate now sent invitation to the CEO of of of, of Toyota. Boy, do guys, you, guys, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Eh? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what you said now? Let me apply it to Nigerian kids. What we, what we, do you know it will the day a Nigerian president will say is someone MTN that the charges you are charging Nigeria for call this is that is you see that is the pride. Yes, you that, someone that MTN. Is, that, that is that, the that is what the people want to see. So that, when you now say, say no, no, no. What, what, what caught my attention, you know, then the CEO of Toyota came to the United States. The whole network, the whole the whole a TV network in the United States were focused on this guy. This guy came with his, with, we call it Shabe, beautiful aircraft, Toyota, to land in Washington, D.C. My brothers, man, when this guy came down from, from the plane, he was about four feet tall, five feet tall. You know, his name, his name is Aki Toyota. When this guy stepped into the Senate, the whole senator stood up to honor it. You know, then when he started asking questions, this guy refused to speak English. He spoke mm. Japanese all through with an interpreter. That is and, another thing again. And, and that interpre interpreter is America that we get interpreted, isn't it? <laughs> a Japanese see which America. Japanese interpreting it to English. Then he tell, he, he tell them no, 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 no. What I'm saying is that it is the American government that will bring an interpreter. They will. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So, so in, in other ways, you know, though I believe, I be, because, you know, when I say, if I say that, if I say that, that Nigeria, we have not gone up to that. Not that I'm politically lost. You see, before you play politics at that level, to assert, make sure you have your... Your backyard, the covered. That is what. Make, 
make mm. make sure you have your backyard covered, which That's means true. Yeah, that is the business. As a that is fact, when you, by the time you even get to that level, don't even look for trouble. Personally, if exactly. I was the one doing it, I was do keep securing my building myself until they come and start making trouble for me. I will not say anything. Exactly. Yeah. Trouble, but then I see if I didn't know. Because mm -hmm. if you look at if you look at the tactics Iran use, you saw how sometimes they even attack Iran. Iran will mm -hmm. be like, Oh, we are gonna retaliate, but they will not do anything, no. We are gonna retaliate. <laughs> They will just exactly. carry on yeah. developing again. Uh, they, 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 this is not true. the time to confront, to make trouble. Yeah. So you it just have true. to be careful about this. Is pick your fights. Mm -hmm. You know, ah uh, man, I, it's going to be fun to see Nigeria actually start moving in that. If that happens in my lifetime, you, people, uh, if you witness it, uh, it's something that you 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 can't even imagine how momentous that event is. Because in the last 400 years, nothing like that has happened before. It's strange yeah. to say that it's almost weird to believe that that has never happened in but, uh, but our context Niger, before. Niger, because how other people we, have been doing it repeatedly in yeah, history. How do we get here? Because, now, okay. okay. How, 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 did, how did we get where we are now? Yeah, because far back in the 70s when I started uh, having... Ken, Ken you said, you they ask question <laughs> where you submit, <laughs> where you submit <laughs> the answer. <laughs> the 70s, Nigeria <laughs> was never great. Even in the 70s, we were just... We just had the illusion of greatness. We were never you really know, great. You know, when Nana was bigger than dollar, no, they just left now. Hey, hey, it was them see, that did see, work and do you know? Do you know the reason? This is the reason, Ken. Yeah. Now, the Arab League, OPEC, they were in solidarity that they will never sell crude oil to the West because yeah. the West were supporting Israel that, def that defeated them 1967 since they were, and 1973. Yeah. So because they, 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 they did that, America has to look for alternative source. So if they can't get all this, uh, even Saudi Arabia was with them. So the only, I think, Af Africa then was Nigeria because Algeria is also Arab in solidarity. Arab, yeah. I don't think Angola has discovered oil there. So when they came, Obasanjo played the politics that, you know, Jimmy Carter came to Nigeria in 1978. Despite yeah. being a military man, Obasanjo is, was a military then. No? But yeah. Carter, Carter came. So when he came, the what he wanted was that crude oil to save his dom domestic supply, unlike what it is now. So Obasanjo, you know, helped and the money was flowing in. So that small cash we have that we throw it around, did the first tax 77, yeah, you know, all those, uh, 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 you know, money, uh, money, so, money so Mutala, oh. Mutala say Africa has come of age, you know, you know, black man, we talk with ourselves. Like so, 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 it needs to stop. So, so, you know, that was, you see, you know, that was what make, according to my chemistry I lecture, I did. Like no, during that time, people were already going to space, oh, where he was saying, this, I got, I got no, paid. No, listen, I got man. Have space program, listen, you have come of age. Listen, not only that, are we really, what of infrastructure are we developed to say, to say the least? <laughs> oh even, by, even, by, even by the standard of those days, we are not developed, but Mutala was busy. Talking, hey, what was it? He said oh, we are already entering South Africa. That's but that was good oh, to liberate them doing yeah, non 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 movement, non align movement. This non 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 movement with Yugoslavia under just under just a Tito. Listen, listen. Yes, please. Yeah. One second. The train that two Nigeria brought to Nigeria. I think Nigeria lives in England, right? The train that yeah. he brought to, to Nigeria. Right now, they are pushing the train with hands. The diesel got to me. <laughs> they are pushing the train. That, that, that train, blue line, he, blew, he broke down, I didn't they? He broke down and they <laughs> had to. No, 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 no. Are you are you sure it's brand new? Uh, is, 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 is it not? Is it not? Is it about that one? Eh? Not, How about the one where they are using ladder to climb into a plane? So so you know? so listen. So so listen. So so can 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 please can can please let me. Okay, please let me not forget. So yeah. that's more cash. That that's why they call it OE OE boom. So that's more cash when Nigeria get that time. Throw away first time. Call Africans come and work. Every black nation come and work. Think that is it one month or two weeks for free? Mm -hmm. They build first tag for them. Then then Mutala went and all like you know they played African this thing in the end. So we, are too, what we have too much hubris. <laughs> I don't know where so, we got so, this hubris so, from. It's so, too much. So that is the mistake. 
uh, people saying that Nigeria was maybe then that was hey, that mean that that is the basis of dollar being uh, I mean naira being stronger than the dollar because we are exporting because it's not because we are exporting and the America want to buy so for America to buy they have to if their dollar is stronger than our own we can't so we now see that we can with our this thing get them so um, they were giving them i mean nigeria was the number one supply of um, crude oil to america in the 70s yes. so that was how nigeria saved america because the arab league conspired that they would sell to them and the america and russia and the cold war was the very severe then now so uh, america dare not go to russia you know <laughs> to go and ask, eh, eh. so so that was the opportunity, the window that opened to Nigeria and the money. Mm. So when we had the money now, we can pay Dubai their two year salary, go to Jamaica and pay their salary. No, it's true. I'm not making it up. I know, yeah. I know. Making... I am not making it salary when we have not. Oh. <laughs> Malaysia salary. Who did it? Malaysia I think, I think, you know, when they ask who did this to us, there is something seriously wrong with our psychology sometimes. So, because so, that was know, a time, that was an opportunity for us to get out of the mess we are in. But instead, course. we're paying other people's salary with the money we had. Was, Even in the 90s, was, yeah, was, 90s was, and 2000s. Was, was, was it why I, I read Ojukwe, one, of, one of Ojukwe's interview? He said, go on, go on, and the military, they lost our chance of the century, I think. Something like that. So, so you know, eh, we haven't we haven't learned anything. So, when you hear Nigeria and the, there was a time dollar was uh, naira was uh, higher than the, it's because of that. Because what, what, America, what did he we say are, about losing t chance of the century. Um, he said, he said, he said, Ojuku said, go and lost our chance. Uh, go and lost our chance opportunity of the century in terms of building. You know, that's first time. You know, first time wasn't about something. It was Gowan that planned it, but because he was mm -hmm. overthrown, then they continued the procedure. Mutala continued, then Obasanjo saw it to fruition. Oh. So, mm -hmm. Juku was saying that Nigeria had squandermania. You know, he, there was a time they said Nigeria imported something from my bro. It was just sand. They shipped mm -hmm. to Nigeria sand. He said, ah, he said if you came to a papa wharf then, eh, sheep, do more age, can stay for three months on the high sea, waiting, waiting to bed, no space. Oh dear, mm -hmm. I need to see. Ah, yeah, no. Ah, read that, but I'm telling you. Even, rec this... even recently, in, in this early 2000s, some, some states in Nigeria, one state in Yoruba land, I've forgotten the name of the governor, he, he bought cows from America. Yeah, now, nah, 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 this is uh, a kitty man. man yes. uh, cows. Um, uh, Fire me. <laughs> Fire me. Fire me. Fire me. Is it not the cow? Is it not the cow? They said they said they said they said the cow arrived at the airport. I refused to move. <laughs> they said they said because that is not American air. He said even cow. If he, if, if he, no, it's true. Fire me. He said, he said, he said, he said he, this is not this, 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 this can't be right. This, this can, something is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he said the car, the car. So he said the car refused to. You know something like ah, people were so they said ah, car wake up from America. <laughs> he could not, he, he could not look the, he could not look, he could not look the face of the people. Say no, 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 this cannot be my people. This cannot be. I don't play. I don't play. When your car look, look outside. It's true. You see all the. You see, you see this cannot be happening. I, who did this? How did I get here? It's, yeah, exactly. How did I get here? Send me back. Or, you know, you know, you know, as an animal, you go just, you know, that's what they call human stimulus. Now, nah? the stimulus will tell you that you're in a different, you're in a different <laughs> this environment. Is an this is an aggressive territory. You know, Nigeria, Nigeria has always been a dead leaf spot. Europeans were not able to survive in Nigeria now. In, in, in those days, they were not able to no, survive. So. No, no, eh? Do, do you know one thing, eh? What a white man can buy from you. This is the, let's just play simple economics. What a white man can buy for you is what they've tried in their country to do. They can't, they will not buy from you. They can't just because of, you know, today in Britain, hey, banana, banana. If they can cultivate, if banana can grow very well with their weight, everything, they can't. This guy, this guy, or what are they saying? I even can't, even can't fear Nigeria. Even if it's not, no, it's true. Fire me of a kitty state, imported cow. They say it's American. He want to do animal husbandry. Nigeria, Nigeria. You see, 
I see. I, I saw. I will respect a leader. You see, to me, my idea of leadership is if you know what you can do with your own resources in your country, use it yeah. first. Don't just everything import, import. No, no, no. It doesn't just work. Use your own. Do you know that mm, ordinarily we cultivate cassava and they can grow very well? Yeah. And you can make ethanol from cassava. Why can't we export ethanol? We cultivate this and then tell the world we can exp export cassava. Rubber can grow in Nigeria. Well, we have yeah. done lob. I think part of Tommy said it with Nigeria and they really they've dealt with us. Part of Tommy said it. Part of Tommy said yes, Part of Tommy said he called a meeting in the eighties. He said, Volkswagen, you are assembling in Nigeria from Jam, I mean Lagos, Peugeot. In Kaduna, you are French. Uh, Mercedes, is it Anamco, Enugu? Steyer, I don't know where Steyer is from, but Ibado. Steyer is in Bauchi, Toyota, I think, in Ibado. Um, which one is in Portacot? There was, they do that, say that. So he called them, he said, look, we've supported you people. What you want to play is economic diplomacy, that we want to be exporting rubber. We want you people to diversify and be cultivating rubber here in Nigeria so that we export. He said the thing couldn't work. They couldn't realize it because they went and reported to the head of state. He said, don't mind him. They overruled it. So that was when he started having problems. You know, the thing is that hmm, a white man will use what they have to get what they need, their own. Why not copy it in Nigeria? That is the beginning of everything. Yeah. What you have, copy it. Use your own. Value the one you have. Even if you want to import, you import later. Do you know that Japan has been using cars that use solar long time when they were even manufacturing and giving us Honda Accord? They say, hey, Honda is good. It's, it's, you use petrol. They are own using solar or anything. That's what they use in their car. Then, because they don't feel that this is what they want. They use their own. So in our own case, when Nigeria had small cash, all we did was to start throw, throw, throw money. Imagine going to um, going to Caribbean to pay salary, go to Dubai, not to loan. To, we have, Nigeria was loaning money to ADB now. Yeah. Nigeria, yes. Musa, now. Musa, Musa did the same thing now. Where that one went and spread money all over. On the way. Uh, on, the, on, the on the way. On, on the way to America. Yeah, where he was going. What is it with us? I, well, he, don't, he never see these things with other groups. What is it with us? So, so exactly. we, we need to learn our lesson from history that this is a bad idea. <laughs> power, no, you have to go for power first. Don't flaunt mm. wealth. Go Don't for power wealth, flaunt wealth. Build your people, develop. Give your people what they need. That's why, it's, that's what Libya did. Mm -hmm. Before Gaddafi died, anybody would tell you that Libya, in terms of economic power, because the people start. are happy. He when developed you go them. You go serve the country, Military uh -huh. for one year. When you come back, they'll give you a free house. Exactly. Leave. At least, at least you make your people happy before yes. you now play high tech politics. Whether yeah. you have to invade this country or maybe go there and build block. But the people, you see, that's why sometimes, that's why when Nigeria says something, it sounds hollow. And that is what we reduce crime. How can you be having money? All you go about is to go and be looking for who to pay salary the other country, a country salary pay them for this, pay them, come back home, use money, organize first act, then start making mouth. We want, we, we are this. That was what made America to say we are really the giant of Africa because they need crude oil. You see, when the yeah. white people are even, when the white people are even praising you, if it's, it's a, it's a signal, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it right. it's, a, it's a signal you should go back home and then yeah. think. Yes, of course. If a white man start praising you, 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 should you, go you know that your end is around the corner. Exactly. You should, and you should, you should go. the black start hating you, you know that you are doing the right thing. Yeah, you are, you are doing right. the mm. exactly. You are doing the right thing. right thing. Particularly if you are if you are doing what they do not expect you to do. Yeah. So Nigeria, Nigeria, it was on that basis they lost the chance. But now have we learned? Otherwise, I don't see the re look. The greatest shame is for somebody to say. Uh, maybe you are in one type of hospital in London. Oh, okay, that the president of Nigeria. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you normally come here for treatment. Huh? Oh, what a shame. A president of a country. You enter you know why? You know why? You can, no, and you have how many medical schools. They don't trust Nigerian doctors. So so oh, because no. of their because of their crime. I, I thought this uh, was supposed to be for three, four hours. Yeah.
We need we need to start rounding up oh, so yeah, that exactly. we can do let's, some other day. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so after all, there's still uh, tomorrow session. Uh, the opposition will might kill them. Engineer the Ken is in America, isn't he? Uh, no, no, yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are night. We are night people here, so uh, we need to start uh, rounding up. I don't even know how C now. I don't even know how Dr. CM sleeps. Dr. Yeah, CM, yeah. you mm -hmm. yeah. Is it not uh, you now nah, wow? We you keep people are special, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know you know one thing you know do you know one thing with America is that <laughs> nah, 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 but, but you, you Americans are worker. So somebody can just finish eating. Just tell yeah. God, begin the begin their testimony different people. <laughs> <laughs> begin the test yeah. to yeah. see how they work that was that, that was what, that was what i was trying to uh, ask uh, simon remember the the other day that he came on right the first okay, news yeah, that yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes okay, yeah. the first news that he's talking about they support you know uh, 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 people owning gun it's not that owning gun is not the, the problem but how can you tell a 12 year old 16 year old to own a, a you know a weapon like kind of like a weapon of war you see that that yeah. gun something that gun something is what made the american civilization to yeah. respect because nra, the, NRA the is holding them nra is giving them money, money yeah. and then they don't even know what they're doing anymore yeah it's a, and very, the, it's a very it's a, it's a republican thing you know? Very I'm telling you, every day, every day, I look at my phone just to make sure that I don't get any news from my uh, 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 my my children's school that something is going on. Yeah, you, you know, have to because be these days now, yes, because the rate of these things is just alarming now. Yeah, you never know. A six year old to went to school and shot the teacher. And dead from gun violence just in 2001. That is a lot of people. Because dead, why, actually why dead. Will, why will it not happen? They took Bible away from the school. No more, no more, no more preaching on word of God. They don't teach them Bible anymore in, in, in the school. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. If how if, 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 even if, in, in Jinakan, even if you teach them Bible, but they are still having gone, it still not work. So you just for leave the Bible alone, just the gone. And there's so I think it's only America that legalized gone. In yes. the whole of Europe, I don't think. Yeah, you see, what, what you tend I'm to see with you. Europeans is that, sorry, sorry, and you can, sorry. Yeah. What you tend to see with um, Europeans is that the more minorities they have in their country, the more aggressive the system is. Um, just like, just it, it, like if you come to Africa now, if you look at South Africa, you see how well they are doing. And the, the countries like Kenya has a, a significant population of you know Europeans oh, and Indians. Yeah, people, yeah, they are doing, yeah. they are relatively stable. So yes. the more that's how it is. If you look at uh, Scandinavian countries, they don't they didn't have a lot of uh, minorities there. Look yeah, at how well they are doing. And uh, the further down you come towards the south of Europe. You start seeing even more minorities show up. You know the ones across the Mediterranean Sea and all the rest. Mm -hmm. The more aggressive the assistance become, and in the case of America, it's the most aggressive because they have a sizable minority. Like the African American alone is going to 30, 50, uh, 40 to 50 million, and then you have uh, the, this in the Hispanics show up again. But Canada doesn't have that. But look at how benign Canada is. The same thing you go to Australia. The more foreigners you have, the more they make the system uh, this uh, aggressive. For whatever reason, because they they feel that the aggress the aggressive nature of the system will mean that they will still control the this thing, the, the the levels of power in that system. If even in South Africa, see if you look at South Africa right now, South Africa is one of the like crime breeding country in Africa. They yeah. literally call South Africa the gun this in crime yeah, center of, 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 yes. of Africa. So you can see why they do that. And I and I really think people need to be paying attention to the patterns because yeah. when you look at it all over the world, the pattern repeats itself over and over again. If the, the, the whiter the country is the more safe it is. They don't even no, have no, no, that's um, not, that's gates not in a, a Scandinavian prisons. That's not true. See, two, huh? two Niger, two Niger, here in America. I can't hear you uh, clearly. Sorry. No, okay. I said that. That's my head. Sure. Here in America, mm. you know, the 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 foreigners don't carry guns. You know. Oh maybe, yeah, yeah. They don't carry guns. Yeah, but maybe one percent. Maybe one percent. But it's the Americans that carry guns. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not black. saying that they are trying to prevent the foreigners from attacking yeah. them. 
I think they, they for, for some reason, I don't know why, even the, this, the, the welfare system oh, that they have yeah. is more aggressive in such countries. It's only because they know the foreigners will get the welfare, so they make it more aggressive. They, they privatize everything. They make it. But if you look at European countries, the further north you go, the neater and stable everything is yeah, exactly. a nice yeah, the the Scandin Scandin Scandinavia is much more stable. Two Norway, two, Norway, right? Denmark, yeah. Finland. I, I, I know. I know the funniest part of it. Most of these states that the shooting is so so much, you know, uh, like Texas, their governor and their uh, senator. We say, oh, pray to we'll pray to God, you know, to 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 heal our land and that yeah. that, that that that. And you you like. But is it's there, such is a good thing to is, do. Is there, mm. is there no, is there a state in a, a small state so like, a, the price. La, la, so like Connecticut? The price. That's what they are doing it. Oh, Connecticut. State. Yeah, a Connecticut. Connecticut, that thing happened to them. But today, Connecticut, it, I think it's uh, a little, you know, a little more uh, stable now no, than it's, before. It's, it's a little bit down. But they yeah. Have, but they still have bones problem in Connecticut. They yeah. still, they still have gun problem. Yeah, they still have gun problem. Yeah, but can you, you know, can you, can you imagine such leaders? Eh, it's like a Nigerian leader waking up one morning, the next day they go to work knowing that if they don't do anything about a certain problem, forty six thousand people will die that year. That is what American leaders are doing. They wake up every day, go to work knowing that forty six thousand people might die this year. They are fine with that. Some years it went over fifty thousand. They yeah. are fine with that. It, because they think the price is worth this, uh, paying. Some, somebody if, told, even somebody, even when you go to the store now, you don't stay too somebody, long. You just gotta be careful and get out. Somebody oh. somebody told me in the nineties that every day some people are dying in New York. <laughs> I was in Nigeria then. Eh? He said some a lady. He said every day there was this one person, at least one person. It is it is true. It was the mayor Giuliani that came. To okay, that clear. Yeah, that clean New York. Oh. Yeah, it was true. Uh, they see, they see, they see, they see. What kind of cleaning clean did they do? When for this, I don't know, know what cleaning they did because no, no, no. Ah, too many people have died in that country. But no, New York, mayor of New York. New, New York was worse before the yeah, yeah. came. Yeah, uh, we, we, the world uh, knew about true. that. But what, what, what I'm asking is, you people in America. Does this thing not? Does this thing not give you exactly. like the government <laughs> or sign? <laughs> America must be really, really big. We're, 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 we're alive. We're, we're alive. We're alive every day. Every day. They, they, they are laughing at me. They are laughing at me. Hey man, Have Nigeria has been involved in any of these things before. Also getting caught up in it. You, you just, you just gotta be careful where you go and what you do. Just do what you gotta do. Hey, Prince, have you heard that Nigerians are involved in any of these things before in terms of most, most you know, getting like a casualty or, most um, most or have done the one, the one Nigerians, uh, the ones Nigerians are very much involved is uh, killing their wives and the family. Like in Texas, yeah, they do that a lot. One, you know? yeah, yeah, they kill. How yes, they the, killed the their wife. No, a professor was a Nigerian professor they, was killed. They, they will kill their wife, and they, you know, instead of any other thing, you know, they'll go to jail. They'll say instead of their wife to to kick them out of their house or whatever, whatever, they'll just kill their wife and kill the wife. You know, probably the wife's mother. And uh, that is another. Uh, that is another. That is another thing again. Why yeah. is it that Nigerians they always like a uh, kick you out of the house? Kick you, I don't you know that it, it may be here, but I don't the, think the the whole thing the whole thing is from both the whole thing is from both uh, you know I'm not saying like me, I'm not perfect, but to me, in order to avoid such a thing, be involved in your family. You understand? You know, some people will come, you know, because we are busy. You are working, your wife is working, and then the children are there. And then you don't come back and you expect your wife to cook and then clean and then do this and do that. You know, you know, to me, you help, help the little that you can just to keep the peace. But some See, men, but they, think, they have so much pride. Prince, Prince, don't you think that Sometimes when you leave Nigeria and travel to the U.S. and, you know, as a Nigerian, you are a couple there, 
chances are that the dynamics will change, the power structure will change, and the chances of it working out without any breakup is very, very slim because of it, no matter what you do. Well, well, it all depends on, you know, like, for instance, it depends on experiences. You understand? Now, it's better together than you know than separate especially when you when you have kids you have kids yeah, yeah in you some cases, it's almost impossible because like in some cases uh, the women maybe let's say the woman is with you in uh, nigeria and the power dynamics was like in terms of the greater power was in the hands of the man mm -hmm. but when they go uh, overseas the, the dynamics change yeah, you go humble yourself now. You go humble yeah, exactly. yourself. <laughs> exactly. Even you if you humble yourself, you that's, humble. What that's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at. Even if the man understood that and humbles himself, the yeah. woman may not know how to wield the power and oh. overdoes it, and boom, you still get the an explosion. So in some cases, it's almost inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, please, let me say something. Yeah. You see, the, the problem, man. Eh? Is about 75 percent more in our women's side mm -hmm. men. because some of our men when they are here mm -hmm. ready, they know the system of they course work, they do everything so by the time they'll go back home to marry and bring a woman in here sometimes women will not go to school to become a nurse or a doctor or a pharmacist they may the woman will start earning big money then, then you see her start, start having pride yeah, right. You see, that's, that's what I mean. To start having pride for her own husband. Sometimes, if her husband wants to sleep with her, and eh, she start giving excuses, you know, uh, you go, that, you go get time table, you go get time table by force. <laughs> by force. <laughs> so, the man is still work. The woman is at home doing nothing, and she'll just be on the phone. The man will go take a shower and call me. The man has a wife. I only where's my food, you sir. The food is in the fridge. Now go, go help yourself. But meanwhile, before, <laughs> before she become a nurse, she was doing all those things already. Yeah. You tell me. So by the time she now is nurse, into the system, she's making a little money. Then she think that she's all and all. So she, yep. when, when the man now reports her to her family, 90% of, of, of the women family back home, they are the one causing this problem. Will because they will, they will support their they will support their daughter. To me, I will advise I will advise the man I will advise the man not to report. You know, talk it out. You try to, to, man to I, try I have, to. I have an uncle. You know. I have an uncle that lives in the Bronx. You know, it is related to my mother. Me and my mom are second cousins. This guy who went to, to Nigeria in the, in, the, in the early nineties. He came to America like in the early eighties. It's about forty something to fifty years old in America. So he went to Nigeria, married this girl. This girl was a choir, and the father of this girl is a friend to him. But his the, the parents, the dad, the dad is older than my uncle. So he married her and bring her down to America. So they were living and everything. Then later she became a nurse. But then she started making round figure. She started having an attitude, and they have three boys. You know, a serious attitude that my uncle now reports her to her family. Her family was now playing politics. Then she. Yep. She now brought her mom down to, to the U.S. So the mom now team up with her daughter, tell her that, ah, you don't go build your own house, do this one, do that one. Then at the end, they kick the man out, out of his own house. Of course. You know? It, so so, so it, because like, the man is not a problem. No, 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 but engineer, can, let me ask you yes. this. The house, who pays the mortgage? Is it not the man? My brother, if, uh, if, but you. but if, if she shall live with you for five years automatically. It matter, she has a share. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna. But she lived yeah. with you for more than three years. She's not. In, yeah. She, she she she's not a pass and pass. She's entitled. Yeah. To that house, even though her name okay. is in or not. Or, or not. Okay. Uh, okay. What week, I what I'm trying to say. What I'm what I'm what I'm driving at is. Now you are going to be paying mortgage, so you will leave the house and still be paying mortgage on that. Yes, house. yes, she yes. Not spend anything. And yes, she might bring you, will, you will even be paying. You will even be paying that. that uh, you will even be paying that after the boss. You won't pay early money. Uh, you will even be paying because you will also pay early money. So, uh -huh. so, so, so sometimes the guys cannot, cannot, cannot take that hit anymore. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why they that's why they shoot their wives. They kill their wives. My brother, just pray that your wife should be good, no matter a nagging wife and a bad yep. wife. wife that imitates what other people does. You know, I, 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 I had one horrendous case where this lady played it on um, on our channel, and she was like, they were playing this. Um, I think it was an Igbo guy speaking Igbo in the on the phone. He was calling police. I don't know whether any other person okay, has yeah, seen okay, it. Okay, yes, I, I, I yeah. watched it. Think which you said, eh? yeah, yeah, I, I really feel bad. I, I don't know how yes. to feel, man, man because the guy I felt bad for him, but he just killed yes, somebody man. and he's still cross. He was still yes, cross man. on the phone, still picking the body. I. I think I, I watched it. Men, some men are suffering in the house. Do you know why? But you know, I think the, okay, let me say one one thing that I think is quite important. I don't know whether it's happened already. We seriously need to set up a support um organization for our people that are traveling because we are traveling at higher and higher numbers now. And uh, there are most, many of these who are going with family now too. That's another thing that is happening more. They are going uh -huh. with family now, and this they are ending up in the West. The dynamics, nobody is supporting them six, eh? to maintain uh, stability. Do, what we can do eh, is to fall back home, start talking to their family, talk to their father and their mother, because some but of those them who don't understand, that? most of them don't understand the West. They need organizations that not, people that understand really, the West to inter, not, intervene. See, see, not really understanding the West. This is how you know when in Jiraka you mentioned something and I want to sort of yes. extrapolate it. You know the thing is, eh, the moment because of the way things are in Nigeria, that their daughter, ah, they sneak, send them what just one dollar, they gonna take buy rice. Yeah, this, this, this. Even if whatever the do that woman says, they are going to believe. Oh, the husband is killing me in America. He doesn't do this because they don't have the they wouldn't have the grant to say why are you should have. Uh, but he sends them money. He sends money to them. It makes them comfortable. Take this to pay house rent. Take this to support this. So because of that money, there is nothing. The other side we say they are going to agree. They will always support their daughter. So the thing is really, it's really a serious thing. But right, what I what thing. what I learned, what I want on the men's side, hmm, the thing is in Nigeria because I, what we are discussing as men in Nigeria, you can afford to say you go to work, you come back, you can go to one uh, beer parlor, or even if in a street somewhere you are meeting your friends, you joke. When you come back, everything is done. At most, you have a house made if you can afford it, a middle class, all those things. I agree. But when you come to abroad, you see, in this thing called marriage, any arrangement that works for you people without mm -hmm. an outsider knowing, that is yep. what I support. I don't yep. care whether whether you are the man when you go home now you the white carpet, she will be cleaning ceiling. Yeah, any, any just do it. Any arrangement that works for you people such that for 30, 20, nobody hears a quote. That is what I want to hear. Because you are in abroad. Help yourself. Okay, in, in the in the end, if you iron if if you iron the clothes in the house as a man, I used to do, you iron this one, iron this, it doesn't mean it doesn't make you anything because you are now saying that this is how we support ourselves in the Western world. You in the Western afford, world, yeah. You, you yeah, you, you got it afford, right. You can't afford to get a, a house help and pay. No way. It, uh -huh. yeah. by, the, by the time by uh, the time you go pay him for hours, how many hours you won't give up? Hey. Yeah, so hey. hey. yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, you, you you can you you can get help <laughs> to pay. Then uh, not only not, not only that, how many rooms do you have that you are going to devote one? Say okay, you, you say, know how many? Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe on a way on a way there, US where we say uh, our sitting room here go be like your toilet. On a way to <laughs> <laughs> you see, once if they're all they're, the whole garden can the whole garden can be one city, one room in the US. So the thing is this, eh? That's what I always tell people. I say, look, I don't always what matters. Hmm? That's why, just like what we have been discussing about countries. If you come in and you any arrangement you feel that can work peacefully for two of you, I don't think so. In fact, let me tell you, whatever you do in your household behind closed door you enter do is 
he died. If it's a sacrifice, it is worth doing. Just if do it. it yeah. If it if it is not a sacrifice, it is worth doing. Whatever yeah. it is that can bring, because you, in the peace. end, it yep. is two of you. It was two of you. Just live in peace and then carry on. I don't think I don't I don't think there is a shame in anything. By the I, way, no, by the shame. by the way, you some people go out. Hmm? Some people go out as part of their work to go and help somebody who is disabled, maybe a white man. Help to clean, uh, bed the person, do all this care work, do all this, and then you come to your house. It happened that one of your children, maybe the can you can be able to help because your partner, your wife is not at home. Can't you bet your children? Is it something... Dr. You are, you are talking about hiring... Okay, over here, nanny is different from house apple. Uh, a nanny what, will, Oh, my goodness. A, na yes, a nanny, would, a nanny will not clean. A nanny will not clean. A nanny will not clean for you. No, they'll tell you that's not their job. That their job is just to look at your children. A nanny will not, he will not bath your children. He will not bath your children. He will not. He's just have, to look after your children. They have babysitter, uh, nanny, yep. uh, the house help. Yeah. Then, so, so, so if you if you nanny. if you know what manage yourself, then you go hire you go hire nanny or uh, 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 or babysitter, and then mm -hmm. hire cleaner. Uh, mm -hmm. Now you now you be don't go take. You know, and they are expensive. Yeah, are expensive. I'm telling you, very. The only nanny that you will see here in the US that will be doing all those for you, it will be an African woman. Yeah. That's yep. And it's not but, gonna be official. But, but that one, that one could be that one could be under the table because if not the one we don't yeah. open eye, uh, uh, one day, one day if not the one we don't open eye, one day you go tell you go you go you go even invite police come for you. Tell them say, tell them say, you they the use them. But, but this open eye, this open eye, just uh, our black man's uh, the way we take care of ourselves. Indians, she be then they live together. You yes, see the now. way they help themselves. So the Asians, Dr. Dr. C. M. It, they okay, have initially, initially when I had my daughter, it was an yeah. Indian that was doing nanny for us. All of a sudden, okay, she did it one month, two months, three months. Then uh, the fourth month, she tell me say. Will go increase will go increase her pay. I, I, I check this thing, check this thing. I say increase your pay. This is a woman that I was paying, I think I was paying her uh, 300 every week. She said, Ah, so we'll go increase them. And the three weeks, this thing where they tell you, you know, only six hours. I'm not picking the day there. Only six hours. You understand? Play, 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 play. I think the woman they play. She told me, so I go increase and say, if I know increase and say. She no do again. Ah, now look at look at tell my wife I beg. Instead, my picking go go nanny. Make it kukuma go daycare. I go not say I they pay for daycare. Case close. Case close. Okay, okay. You know? let, let, let's okay, see okay, if uh, Nigeria watch is still around because we have been here yeah. going to how many so, hours? So the money you they pay um, in the pay tax. No, no, no. Under the table. Uh, under the table. Under the table. Take over or something. Nigeria watch, are you there? Now that what now make we go sleep. Because he put so. this chance, so uh, if I start handing over to anybody else, so he's away. All right. So, um, so Injira can take over California. Okay. You <laughs> yeah, it looks like. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Maybe I'm somebody else wants to take over. Let's let's round up. Oh, they don't Thank want to go home. Uh, Naja watch. <laughs> <laughs> Injira, Injira can she not California? You there? No, 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 no. no, no. Um, I need to pick up. You there? Where? I don't for Big Apple. Big Apple. Okay, big oh, Apple. New York, New York, the Big Apple. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I saw York. you are even three hours ahead of me. So, oh. on a day, on a day, I'm in California. Okay. So, you are even in 11. Yeah. You are yeah, 11 over there. Yeah, Almost yeah. 12. Almost yeah, 12. Yeah. Almost 12. Yeah. Where, where yeah. we did, we did to 9. So, now yeah. New York. Now, you, uh -huh. New York, the whole money day. That's why I hear I'm saying, New York, you have the whole money. <laughs> No, no, Cali get money. Cali get money, yo. Cali get money. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so let's, let's round up now. Let's round up. Okay. Tomorrow is another day. day. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming back again later by six pm. Oh. So, uh, you. Yeah. All right, Mr. Evis. Thank you. You thank don't try. Thank you. You don't try. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Good night, Niger Watch. Thank you, Niger Watch. Thank you, Niger. Thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you, thank you. 
thank you, um, Mama H.O. and uh, everyone, Mr. Prince. Thank you. Everyone right there on the comment section, and God bless you now. So we got to go right now, Mommy Diaspora and everyone. Thank you, thank you for your support. Continue to support us. We're going to be here by 6 p.m. Fingers crossed, we're going to have our mandate back.